All right, y'all, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, man. Brian Robinson is back. Brian Robinson is back. Let's get the dub today, y'all. Let's get the dub. Let's go out there and have a good game. Let's get the offense back on track, all of that. Let me see. We got Rich first. How you doing over there? Rich was good. Terry's going off, by the way. I really hope so, man. We're going to need him. Giants guy was good. Hey, man, y'all coaching is incredible. I mean, I was one of the people that was saying it even before the season started. I was like, golly, man, why we let the Giants end up getting this ensemble of coaches and Brian DeBall is doing his thing. What's good, Argo? Yes, sir. Definitely like up the stream. Already pinned that. And he got the Vola kit link for people. Okay. Tuned in. Let's get one. What's good, Adrian? What's good? What's good? What's good? King Sean. Raymond was good. ARW1. Emilio. Zion. Sean. Merle. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's good? What's good? What's good? He said, what should I eat? And I... <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. I, <laughs> I'm about to get a little bit of cookout food. What's good, Sean? What's good, Merle? What's good, Lawrence? What's good, everybody? What's good? What's good, man? Let's get a dub today. Let's get a dub today. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's get a dub today. All right, Commanders. Come on, man. Starting on defense, too, man. Okay. Okay. Sack on first play. Sack on first play. Let's get it. Yes, sir. That's what I like to hear. Yes, sir. I consider it cookout food. <laughs> I ain't feel like diving into exactly what it was. That man, Monte Sweat got his first sack of the year. Let's go, man. Good start. Good start. Yes, sir. Did they have B Rob come out to Mini Men? I heard they did. I heard they had him coming out to Mini Men. Which is really fine. Oh, yeah, and we are at 13K now, y'all, too. We at 13K. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on, defense, man. Let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and get it to the offense, man. Let's get it to the offense. Let's get it to the offense. Yeah, mini men fits perfectly. Yeah, that's literally like, yeah, that's what they should have played. I'm surprised they did, though. That doesn't seem like the type of thing they do. I'm happy they did, but that just didn't seem like the type of thing they'd uh they play. I'm not gonna lie. Vola Kid has been broke for me for a while now. Unless it's basketball, it's just broke for me. Alright, man. Good job, defense. Way to get off the field. Appreciate that, Night Wolf. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Appreciate that. Three and out. Way to get off the field. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get it, man. Come on, offense. Let's go. Let's go. Gabe Davis touchdown already. Golly. Yes, sir. Get the offense out there. Speaking of that, let me actually go ahead and get my four games up. Who do I want? I have us one. Uh, Bills and Jets Dolphins. Eh. Eh. Ugh, these games are disgusting. I'm just going to keep our game full screen. I don't even care about that. Maybe I would put on red zone for one of the other screens, but that's about it, man. Be a good play. Good pressure by Jonathan Allen, though. Yes, sir. Come on, offense. It's time to get right. Good, good starting field positioning. That's great. That's great to see. That's great to see. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good start. Good start. Let me see, all right. Uh, yeah, I got red zone and fantasy zone up because I do not personally care about any of them other games that's going on. All right, offense, man, let's get right. Okay, little three-yard Antonio Gibson running to start. Little three-yard, little three-yard. Yeah, they are playing with energy right now. They're definitely playing with energy. And Ryan Tannehill's already taking a couple of hits. That's going to matter, man. Those add up throughout the game. Those couple of hits here and there add up for sure throughout the game, man. I'm telling you. Definitely telling you, man. It's it, it boy. You start to feel it more and more each hit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 90 yard touchdown catch from Gabe Davis. God, Lee, man. It's that easy, huh? It's that easy. It's just that easy for us. I mean, for the other teams. I wish it was that easy for us, man. Nick Chubb already has a 40-yard touchdown. Why is it so easy? What's good, Zion? Let them know, man. Everybody like up the stream, man. I really appreciate it, man. Please like up the stream. 
please like up the stream. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, all right, all right. Let me see what else is going on around the league. Going to be a long day for Pittsburgh fans. Yeah, they're going through it. I feel sorry for them, man. But that was a, that was a great first drive by the defense, man. I'm actually really proud. Very proud of what the defense did out there for sure, man. Thank goodness. All right, Curtis Samuel letting stuff fall through his hands right now. Got to be better than that, man. Got to be better than that. Well, make sure I reset that, reset that, because this is a little, this is a little behind. Let me reset it. Let me reset it. Let me reset it. What's good, everybody? That's pulling up, man. I appreciate it. Definitely leave a like on the stream while you're here. We just chilling. Yeah, Curtis Samuel, we need better than that, my boy. Someone give me at least a food item. Hey, man, eat some, eat some fried chicken, man. Well, defense, we're going to need you to bail us out again, man. Offense don't know how to start to get a, get a drive going. Yeah, that actually was a pretty accurate throw by Carson Wentz. I'm actually pretty sad that uh that Curtis Samuel dropped that because we know Carson Wentz, man. He's not going to give you too many accurate ones, man. Not going to give you too many accurate ones. So how was your flight, man? Hopefully well. Um, uh, matter of fact, let me go ahead and change that right now. Matter of fact. Go ahead and change that before we get too deep into the game and it's no hope. Go ahead and get back to that plane right now. All right, defense, we're going to need some more, man. We're going to need some more. Is that Deami Brown on the... Oh, that's Deami Brown on kickoffs. Okay. At least he's doing something. At least he's contributing. He said no plane today. Why no plane? What happened? When's the last time you've been in North South DC? Ah, oh, it's been a minute, man. North South DC, man. It's a little, you know, it's a little tough to get to. It's hard to find that exact spot. So, I, you know, it's a little tough. I'm, I'm gonna definitely come out there at some point, though. Um, what was I doing? I was about to do. Oh yeah, this is what I was about to do. All right, all right. Now let's try. Let's try some of these other links. Cause I'm more behind the day than I normally am. There we go, got the plane. Curtis got to catch that. Pretty pathetic start on offense. Samuel's got it. Yeah, that's a bad drop, man. That's a bad drop. Like I said, man, it's really hard to get Carson Wentz to throw accurate passes consistently. So when he does, man, please catch it. Please catch the ones that he does throw accurately because you're going to have to go out there and catch a lot, of, a lot of ones that are slightly outside of your range, man. So you got to catch the ones that are accurate. That's a must. That's a super must for sure. Let me see. I'm going to try some more links, try some more links. But, hey, man, defense started off really good. I'm very optimistic about the defense. It seems like the defense is just leaving the offense behind. We'll see. Hopefully the offense can get something going. But, like, the defense has been getting better and better literally every game since the Eagles game. In the Eagles game, they played fairly well. They just allowed too many big plays. Allowed a couple of big plays against the Cowboys, but generally played well for the most part. Um, and now they're starting off really well. So we'll see, man. I still be using Dofu Sports. Uh, but that's for the phone, though. That's for the phone. If I could do that for my computer, I'd definitely do it. Well, this link is a little bit further ahead, but then it paused. So I just can't win. Just can't, just can't win, man. Can't win. All right, come on, defense, man. We need another one. I'm not going to lie. We need another one. We need another one. Oh, my boy, Young Obey with the donation, the big, the big time Pro Bowl sponsor. Almost been a year. Glad to show support to you, man. Appreciate that, my boy, Young and Obey, man. Setting the stream right off, man. I really, really, really appreciate that, man. Appreciate that big time, man. We gotta, gotta get Carlton dancing for that one, man. Appreciate that, yes, sir. My boy, Young and Obey, setting it off. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right, come on. Come on, defense. Bell us out again, man. Come on, defense. Bell us out. Third and two. Get off the field. That's really tough, though. Third and two against the against the, the, the Titans is, is tough, man. Derrick Henry and those guys. Now, granted, their offensive line is almost as beat up as ours is. So, you know, it, it's not like it's impossible. But, man, 
That's Derrick Henry. You don't. And I mean, the problem is you don't want to go too crazy stacking the box, and then you allow a big play down the, you know, down the field. You know what I'm saying? So we just, you know, try to stay balanced. See what you can do. But man, ah, uh, Montez Sweat neutral zone infraction. That's not good, man. Don't erase the good play you already made, man. Build on it. Don't erase it. Don't cancel it out. Build on it, man. Got to be better than that. Got to be better than that. Come on, Montez. We're expecting a lot out of you, man. Like a lot. We're expecting a lot out of Montez Sweat, bro. We need you to step up, my boy. No excuses, man. Literally no excuses for that. Oh, Sauce Gardner just caused the safety? Yes, sir. I love to hear it. I love to hear it. Love to hear it. Love to hear it. Love to hear it. Okay. Montez Sweat made up for it immediately. Okay. So he's had two positive plays and one negative. Interesting. Very interesting. All right. Let me see. I haven't seen it yet. I'm about to see it right now. I've had to try like eight different links. This is the one that's the closest. Yes, sir. There's a lot of people in the backfield. I think there was William Jackson in the backfield as well. Like, that was a good play, man. That was a good play. That was a good play called by Jack DeRio, I'm assuming, because we had, like, several people back there. Several people on that tackle for loss on Derrick Henry. Hold him up. Hold him up. Getting them down is a different story, but if you just hold them up a little bit, wait till everybody else get there, that's good. We'll take it. You know what I'm saying? We'll take that. We will take that. But Montez Sweat already responsible for negative 11 yards. All right, third down defense. Let's get off the field. Good tackle. Good tackle by Cole Holcomb. St. Juice was had decent coverage there. He was right there. Decent coverage. Not good coverage, though. Would've nice, it would have been nice if he could have batted the ball down. You know what I'm saying? Would have been nice if we could have batted the ball down. But we'll keep it pushing. We'll keep it pushing. Let me move this over here. I'm going to full screen this over here because this is definitely good enough. This is better caught up than anything else I've had. All right, keep that right there. All right, defense, come on now. It's holding on the offense. Montez Sweat having himself a game this time. Yeah, good hold. Yeah, Montez Sweat got help. Yes, sir. Montez Sweat balling out, man. Montez Sweat is balling out. And there ain't been no... Bro, we just been busy, man. It, bro, super busy. Like, if it's not me, it's Shay E. Like, this time, it was a mix of both of us, man. We're going to get back to it eventually, for sure. But, like, when I got sick, that derailed a whole bunch. That was a week that me and Shay E were free, but I was sick. And that's why I haven't been streaming on the gaming channel either, because I was just sick. And now I'm about to start streaming on that again at night but all right get off the field defense get off the field defense penalties man penalties good job Montez Sweat though because of Montez Sweat that wasn't the first down off the Cole Holcomb illegal contact so that's good that that's at least good all right, we got off the field. Good coverage. Let's get it. Offense, can you give us something? Offense, can you please give us something to work with? Something, anything, something, please, man. Offense, we got to get something going. We got to put got to put some 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 uh some points on the board. We got to allow the defense to rest, man. That was Derek Forrest in coverage too, just to let y'all know. Great coverage down the field, man. I'm not worried about him in run support. Except for that DeAndre Swift play. I'm more so worried about uh, Derek Forrest and coverage, if anything. And the fact that he looks that good in coverage, man. And that wasn't even that bad of a throw by Ryan Tannehill. That was just good coverage. If, if Buddy was wide open and Derek Forrest wasn't right there, that's probably a catch. And I'm hearing that Brian Robinson's in the game right now. Brian Robinson, I'm hearing, is in the game, man. Let's get it. They sent it Brian Robinson on the field. Your Dax Milner returning just is terrible, bro. I mean, granted, punt blocking has to be better. I'm not going to put all the blame on him. But I would love to get somebody else back there at the same time, man. 
middle of nowhere near as bad as y'all say. It's just he, it's just nothing positive. I mean, he's not muffing the punt, so that's cool. But I would way more prefer somebody else. Gotta get a better guy than Dax. Forrest has great speed, love him in coverage. Yeah, he's been balling out in coverage, especially that man. That Jaguars game was a different was a different thing right there, man. That Jaguars game showed that he has a, has it in him. He just has to become more consistent. But he's got something in him. There's definitely something there for sure. What's good, Smokes? Do you only watch Georgia games or a lot of other college football? It just depends. Like yesterday, I was really busy. Like yard work, cleaning the car, a whole bunch of stuff. So I was only able to catch my Georgia game. And that's only because I had my phone on top of the car as I was vacuuming and stuff. So like but normally i do watch other college teams play like later that night i was able i caught the alabama texas a and m and i hate rooting for alabama but i gotta root against texas a and m for whatever cheating they did to get all them five stars that last recruiting cycle man i i, I think i kind of hate texas a and m more than even florida right now even though florida are our direct rivals and that's who i've hated the longest that texas a and m abu uh, abusing the n in il whatever it's called God, I had to, I hurt my soul to roof Alabama, but I had to last night, man. I'm trying to I'm trying to make Texas A&M regret, or well, the recruits regret going there. They all enter the transfer portal. Maybe we get like two or three of them. Rico, you only ask Rico, you my only access to live game. Oh, the comment went away. Have you watched the UNC or App State? I watched a little bit of UNC. Like a tiny bit, like in passing, but now I haven't sat down and watched it. Gino been balling a little too much. Yeah, what's going on with Gino Smith? Somebody has anybody like watched film on Gino Smith to get like an explanation of what's going on? Because I haven't had the time yet. I'm a Bama fan. Game would not have been close if we had my boy Young in. Yeah, not having Bryce Young hurts, but I mean, there's a reason y'all are still ranked number one. The voters clearly see like if y'all had yo Teddy Bridgewater hurt, I, and it's sad. I didn't call it, but I was like, man, Teddy Bridgewater is another injury prone quarterback. I don't expect him to start long, and I was I definitely was rooting for him to play long because I like Teddy Bridgewater. But that, I'm not surprised. Um, but yeah, nah, the voters clearly see that if y'all had Bryce Young, that game wouldn't have been close. Like they, they y'all are still number one for a reason. Even though we have the most first place votes, y'all have the most second place votes, and that's enough. For y'all to beat us for the number one spot just just a little bit just a little bit just a little bit but penalties man penalties catching our offense again i don't know i don't know why we keep doing this to ourselves don't know why we keep doing this to ourselves with the penalties man it's a good experience for a freshman qb for next year good point good point that's a good point it's a great point all, right, all of my streams just started buffering at the same time. I got hit with a mean one. Penalties killing us, man. Penalties have been killing us. What's going on with the Dolphins' O-line to allow their quarterbacks to get beat up like this? That's my question at this point. Golly, man. Like Stroud over Young. I haven't been able to watch either one enough. Like, I've seen a lot of Bryce Young, of course, just watching Alabama being in the SEC. That was a pretty good run by Brian Robinson, though. But um, I haven't had a chance to really watch Stroud yet. Thank you, Mommy. We the young only live game. Can you tell us more often what yard line they're on? All right, but I'll try to keep y'all up. Try to keep you up. I'm a little bit behind, though, so I'm trying to catch up. But right now, I'm seeing second and 17 on the 10-yard line. Oh, let me, I can just move this up a little bit. Let me move this up. You should be able to see it on the screen. Um, But then again, you could just only be listening. Let me get the score up there. Try to, yeah. It tell. Uh, I have it on the screen. Let me see. But I'll try to keep up uh, with it. I'll try to say it out loud as much as I can. But yeah, man, penalties already killing us, man. We're in third and long, second and uh, third and seventeen, deep in our own territory. Looking like the defense probably gonna have to bail us out again because the offense just doesn't want to be great. Offense just doesn't want to be great, man. Offense just is just always in their own way, man. Always in their own way. Here we go. Here we go with the, the defense playing well. Offense playing so poorly that the defense is eventually going to get tired. And we're going to allow that one big play, man. I hope it doesn't happen, but that's what's been happening. Why is our team so undisciplined this year? I don't know, man. It's crazy because that's literally Ron Rivera's calling card. He's not a strategist. He's not... A great time manager. 
He's, he's not like a great scheme designer, nothing, play caller. Literally, the one thing we should be good at is, is it, the very least, discipline. At the very least, that's the one thing we should have. But we haven't had it. I mean, but a lot of it is technique. It's not like boneheaded plays. It's more so just bad technique and, and little stuff. Like somebody getting beat, they prefer to hold, and they just let them go. So, you know. It, it, it's kind of like, yeah, it, you would think with Ron Rivera, you would think that we would be better uh, with penalties than we are. But, again, a lot of our penalties aren't necessarily like a lack of discipline. It's more so just getting beat and don't want to get beat worse. So let me just go ahead and hold this guy. And that's offense and defense. So we've been doing a lot of that on defense. But, yeah, man, right now the offense is, is anemic again. The Titans are starting with great field position, and we started at the 30-something yard line our first drive, didn't do nothing with it, and then the Titans were able to pick up a couple of first downs, and now they're winning the field position battle right now. Definitely winning the field position battle right now, but the Tennessee Titans will start on their own 48-yard line. Great field position to start with. Defense, we're going to need another one. Montez Sweat, we need a little bit more of what you've already been doing, please. We are, as fans, we are begging y'all, man. Come on, defense. We need another bailout because the offense just looks like they don't want to play. Offense just looks like they didn't come to play. They just they just came to watch the game really close. Get front. They just they just found a way. They finessed their way to get front row seats today, basically. Cause they they do not look like they're trying out there. I mean, Curtis Samuel dropping easy passes. Curtis uh, Carson Wentz already doing some Carson Wentz things that we've seen the past couple of weeks. Offensive line holding people. We got to be better. Got It's way too much talent for our offense to look like this. Like, it's literally too much talent. At the very least, it's too much athleticism. Even if you don't consider it refined talent, even at the very at the base level, there, there's just too much athleticism all up and down this offense for us not to be able to make something shake. Somebody should be able to create a mismatch out open somewhere. I mean, Terry McLaurin alone should be able to get open single coverage every time and if he's not being single covered that means somebody else is just wide open so we just got to be better yeah the giants yeah my bro the giants and the falcons are just better coaching because i'm not even going to say they're more talented but their coaches are coaching their tails off man brian the is going crazy what happened to buddy on detroit wait what happened i didn't even see what happened in detroit to the detroit game all right, man, defense, like I said, we need another bailout because the offense didn't come to play today. Overhyped, low energy wins. Wins says less, has two less interceptions this year than he had all of last year. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> that's terrible, actually. That's quite bad, like quite horrendous even. <laughs> it's quite, that's quite horrendous even, man. That's, that's really shameful. All right, come on. Man, offense. Oh, I mean, defense. We need another one, man. Why we didn't get Brian the ball? I mean, we have Ron Rivera. We just, you know, bad timing. Ambulance on the field. Dude, dad had to run onto the field to get in the ambulance. Oh, man, I hope he's okay. Whoever that is, I really hope he's okay. For sure, for sure, hope he's okay, man. Shouts out to the Lions, man. They played really well against us. They, they went out there and won that game against us. They play well, man. Lions futures bright. All these teams with good coaching have bright futures, man. The Lions are more so bright because they've had so many high draft picks. They've accumulated a lot of really good talent. But the lot, but the 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 Giants and the Falcons have some really good coaches. They're just lacking the talent. Well, I mean, apparently the Giants aren't lacking enough talent to where they can make up versus the talent against the, the Green Bay Packers the way they did. That was a great game too, man. Well, second and one is ugly territory because um, that opens up the whole playbook. They can run, throw, whatever. But at least we stopped them. So it's third and one. Defense get off the field, man. I don't know why Robert Woods was that open in the first place. Like, was that William Jackson's fault on there? Geno Smith better than Wentz. Like, no, literally. Like, literally this year so far, Geno Smith has been better than a lot of quarterbacks. Honestly, like, Geno Smith... I'm really going to have to do a film session on what's going on. Like, I I mean, not like a whole video, but I'm going to have to go really look at some Seahawks games from the All-22 and be like, what is going on here? Why is he doing it? Why, why is he able to do this? 
Yep. Third and one, they get it. I mean, it's Derrick Henry. It's Derrick Henry, man. I mean, we could try to stop him. I would love to stop him. But at the end of the day, man, Derrick Henry is Derrick Henry, bro. This is, what's, this is what Alabama makes, man. This is literally the type of guys Alabama makes, bro. This is literally what they do, man. This is what Alabama does. William Jackson, we got to be better, bro. Plain and simple, we got to be better. But it is Derrick Henry. But at the same time, man, take his ankles out from under him. Don't hurt him, but, like, you know, you got to take his legs from under him. And that's what he tried to do. He just completely missed, like, completely missed. John Bostick made a tackle, y'all. John Bostick is on the field. I just want to let people know that. John Bostick made a tackle on first down. Coaching and him backing up greats. He's been backing up Hall of Famers for years. Yep. Everybody wish they drafted Derrick Henry. Everybody does, man. I don't even know how people didn't see it coming out of college. Like, that man was dominating the SEC. Once you dominate the SEC, pretty much tells you everything you need to know about how you're going to look in the NFL, man. Once his vision got better, it was literally over with. Now Derrick Henry's going crazy fantasy team-wise. Mm, running the ball on us. Catching the ball on us. Tennessee Titans just got into the red zone. Like I said, man, the defense tries. They play well. There's a certain point where you get tired because you're on the field all day. I don't think we have a first. Do we have a first down? Does our offense have a first down? Our defense is tired, man. And that was just a really good screenplay to Derrick Henry. That was just a really good play to uh, Derrick Henry right there. And who got ran over like that? Was that, was that Cameron Kerr? No, that was Bobby McCain that got ran over. And, yep, there it goes. There goes, the, like I said, the defense is eventually going to break because the offense can't keep them off the field. There it goes. There goes that touchdown. There goes that touchdown right there. Like I said, man. This has been happening the past couple of weeks. Defense comes out playing well, generally playing well outside of big plays. But after a while, you get tired, especially going against a Derrick Henry. And they just, they're just going to keep killing us on these screens until we adjust, first of all. Until we adjust to these screens, we're so worried about Derrick Henry and getting to Ryan Tannehill, we're just leaving the screens wide open. We're not balanced right now. We're not balanced or disciplined on defense. But even so, defense has overall been playing well, especially outside of this drive just now. But like I said, man, offense can't keep them off the field. Defense can't get any rest. I mean, we just come out there and go three and out immediately. And the defense is tired, man. What's the time of possession battle right now? Let's, let's go look at the time of possession battle. Right now, they've had the ball for seven minutes to our three minutes. Like, it's, bro, it's bad, bro. It's quite bad. Like, it's just really bad. What's good, everybody? Appreciate that loud, man. What's good, man? Yo, offense, man, we got to be better. I don't know what you expect the defense to do when they're super tired because you keep them on the field all day. Just deep, deep offense not doing anything, so the defense is just trying their best to, to bail us out. Can't do nothing. I knew I should have sat out this week. <laughs> we need a real offensive line. We need a real owner and coaching staff. There's no reason. Yeah, there's no reason the Falcons and the Giants are able to maximize their talent, and then we have all of this talent, and it's actually like being used. It's not being utilized at all, like because the Falcons and the Giants do not aren't that talented. Their coaching staff is just going crazy, putting everybody in the right uh, position to make plays, calling the right plays, offense and defense, man. And, and we're just out here, all of this athleticism, all of this talent, all of these good individuals, but none of it's, be none of it's becoming a good cohesive unit. <laughs> Chicken sandwich from Wingstop, but which one? I don't know if y'all got honey lemon pepper out there, but that's what I do. That's just me personally. So, apparently John Bostick was in was in the game instead of Jamin Davis for during that screen to Derrick Henry. And then Davis came back in for the touchdown play. That was bad. Both of those guys missed on the screens. Both of them. Both of those guys 
you could definitely blame John Bostick for the first one and Jamin Davis for the second because they should have been there. That was their side of the field. So, man, we just got to play better, man. I mean, again, defense played well for two drives and then gave up that drive. But the defense is, but the offense is 0 for 2, 0 for 3, whatever it's been so far. Yeah, Jamin, Jamin Davis and Boston got to be better on those screens, man. We need that. Deshaun Watson played well with a bad O-line as a rookie. I mean, yeah, but, you know, it'd be nice if Carson Wentz was comparable to Deshaun Watson, but he's just not. William Jackson giving Josh Norman vibes. Man, Landon Collins would be great. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. The Giants went and got their boy Landon Collins back. I'm pretty sure that the only thing that did was help. Pretty sure that all that did was help. I'm pretty sure all that did was help immensely, probably. I didn't get the I didn't get to really watch the game like that. I came at the end. So I don't know how much he played if he played, but Landon Collins is gonna matter back to the Giants. Cause I wish we had him. I wish we had Landon Collins. Okay, we're getting something going on offense, okay. Okay, Carson wins to Curtis Samuel for 32 yards. Curtis Samuel had a drop earlier, made up for it right there. I appreciate it. Much appreciated, man, because we need it. We need something going on offense. You cannot get down two scores. Do not get down two scores, man. Do not allow yourself to get two scores, man. Got to be better. Got to be better. And Carson Wentz did not have space on that throw. Like, that oh, that that defensive line was getting to him. That defensive line was getting to Carson Wentz as he threw that. He didn't have a pocket to step up in or nothing. Oh, Scott Turner's back up in the booth. That sideline thing didn't work out. Sideline thing didn't work out, huh? Antonio Gibson, zero yard run. I want to see some more Brian Robinson, man. But yeah, that was a good play by the linebacker on that Antonio Gibson run right there. Okay, we're starting to open it up. Offense starting to make plays. Okay. Offense starting to make some plays. Yes, sir. Offense starting to make some plays. First down, moving the ball, getting some first downs. Defense gets the rest a little bit. I'm pretty sure the defense came to the sideline like, bruh. Come on, something, please. Like, anything. Something. Something, please. Like, please give me some time to catch my breath and drink some Gatorade. Something. So the offense is going out there and making plays, finally. Curtis Samuel getting involved early. Already with two catches for 43 yards. Let's go, man. We're on the Tennessee 32-yard line. We're working on it, man. Definitely working on it. All right, pass and complete the Cole Turner, second and 10 from the 32-yard line. Let's get into the red zone. Let's get another first down, get into the red zone, and get a touchdown, man. Like the fact that Curtis Samuel is being uh, utilized heavily right now, though. This is nice. We need to get Terry McLaurin involved, bro. Why does Terry McLaurin not get his first catch until, like, the third quarter of games and stuff like that? It's terrible. It makes absolutely no sense. Finna run the ball. Finna run the ball. They didn't call a face mask penalty to happen. Exactly. Give Terry and Cam the ball. Can we please push the ball down the field? We suck. It's embarrassing. I hate to say it, but three be nice. All right, man. Third and eight, man. Let's go ahead and get this. I mean, with the talent we have, third and eight shouldn't be this difficult, bro. Third and eight shouldn't sound like, oh, yeah, it's over with. Drive over, like. It literally shouldn't be that. Literally shouldn't be that. But yeah, the O-line has to be better right now. O-line is definitely a lot to blame for a lot of the losses we've taken and a lot of the struggles that we're having so far this game. Another bad snap. Well, man, who's starting this in? Is it Nick Martin or is it uh, Tyler Larson? Either way, it's two guys that haven't played a lot recently, so... Can't be surprised. Wes Schweitzer was even messing up a lot of snaps, though, when he was starting at center a couple of games ago. So, 
I mean, it's just, it sucks right now. Sucks. It really does suck. We got to be better, man. It's plain and simple. We just got to be better. Doesn't matter. We need a new owner. G's killing us. Please put in Larson if he active. So it's Nick Martin. It's Nick Martin out here messing up the snaps. But again, Wes Schweitzer was messing up snaps before he even, uh, before he got hurt too, so... But all right, man, we're on the board, 7-3. to three. At least that's somewhat of a, of a response. It's not a real response, but I'll take it. At least the defense got to chill a little bit and catch their breath. Put me in, coach. Captain Dan needs to go. It's comical how bad we are. It's like, Yeah, it's actually pretty shameful. But, yeah, man, Larson, the best on the roster anyway. You're, uh, I think Larson is an active player, I believe, right? I know he definitely got activated to the 53-man roster with uh, Brian Robinson. Him and Brian Robinson got activated. So Nick Martin, man, guy we signed off the street, hoping that they could do some stuff for us. But All right, defense, we need another one, man. I mean, the offense got a little something going, but it wasn't enough to tie the game up. So come on, defense, we need something. Need something, please. Please. We do not, bro. 14 to 3 is not okay. Not okay. Especially with Derrick Henry. Like, you know, trying to stop them and get the ball back while they're running out the clock is not, not a good position to be in, man. We just got to be better. Come on, defense. No big plays. We got to somehow figure out how to stop screens right now. John Boston got killed in that first screen by Derrick Henry. And then Jamin Davis got super blocked. Or and that's on the screen uh, for the touchdown. The following play, actually. They literally put John Bostic in the game. He got beat bad on the screen. They benched him, put Jamin Davis back in. He got beat for a screen for a touchdown. So we got to figure out the screen thing, man. But, yeah, this Nick Martin low snap thing, I don't – I just don't see, like – I know – I can understand, like, no, no chemistry with the offensive lineman around you. You haven't played for a little while. You just got picked up off the street. But, like, isn't snapping the ball the same to everybody? Like, is he not used to snapping the ball in shotgun? What did he used to do for, like, the Texans and all the other teams he played for? Like, did they just never run shotgun or anything? Like, why are these snaps low? Like, I feel like he's been doing this his whole life regardless of who the quarterback is, no matter the team. Why are the snaps low? But then again... Wes Schweitzer was snapping the ball low as well. And I'm a big fan of Wes Schweitzer, but, man, he was off. He was off before he got hurt, man. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to give Nick the benefit of the doubt. It's his first game in a while. Well, technically, he started against the Cowboys. So, and he, I don't remember a lot of low snaps in that game, but maybe I'm tripping. He said we played Terry a bag just to not even throw to him. That's a great point, man. This is annoying. Well, touchback. The Tennessee Titans start on their own 25-yard line. What's going on with B-Rod? Everything with a struggle. Everything to struggle, but we still in it. Yeah, only down 7-3. Even as anemic as our offense has been so far, only down 7-3. Defense out here giving up big plays. Real can Cam Sims get some run on offense today. <laughs> bro, I don't know what's going on with that, man. I have no idea what's going on with Cam Sims, bro. Like I said, bro, we don't see him until November for some reason. Nigga Carson wins two fumbles, even though both of those really should go to Nick Martin. Good point. Good point. My boy with the suit then pulled up. But yeah, those were definitely Nick Martin fumbles and not Carson Wentz. But it, hey, he does get credited with it. That's the, right. hey, that's the that's the job of the quarterback. All the blame and all the glory. All right, defense, we need this, man. Derrick Henry, five-yard run. Have we seen Have we seen another running back other than Derrick Henry? Like, I know we rotate our running backs, and I know the Titans do have Derrick Henry. But, like, man, they're not going to – it's just a Derrick Henry show, man. We just going to – they do run them to the ground, though. I'm not mad at it. 
All right, that's the end of the first quarter, y'all. All right, man, not the most exciting game. You know, we're already a fourth of the way through. Not much has happened, but, you know, defense looked pretty good in the beginning. Offense looked terrible at first, but started to put something together, started to figure something out, but then failed towards the end, had to kick a field goal. But we're working on it, man. Definitely trying to figure something out right now, man. We trying to figure something out. Gotta figure something out, man. One and four does not sound good, y'all. One and four does not sound good. One and four does not sound great at all, man. We just gotta get right, man. We gotta get right. But yeah, man, the offense, man. It, it looked like they started to figure a little something out. So I'm a little optimistic about that, but I don't. I'm not too sure. Hopefully the defense isn't too tired right now. I'm just really hoping the defense is not too tired. I really, really hope. I, I'm afraid. That's the thing I'm afraid of, man. They've been on the they've been on the field too much. They were able to get two, three and outs quite easily the first uh the first two drives, and after that the levy broke. All right, Dalvin Cook and Nick Chubb already have touchdowns. I mean, I'm not surprised. I mean, that's that's Nick Chubb. And Dalvin Cook is James Cook, brother. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not surprised. He related to James Cook. Stop playing with him. But now that is hilarious that Scott Turner is back into the booth, bro. They're like, all right, bro. This is not working out. We got to switch something up. Got to switch something up. Like, something's off. Something's off. I'm glad we, like, looked at ourselves, evaluated the situation, and was like, yeah, this sitting on the sideline thing sounded like a good idea, but it didn't work. Need a refresh? Oh, you're talking about the team. I thought you were talking about the screen. I, I refreshed the screen just in case anyway, though. Just in case. Mike Evans is technically always open, man. The corner's either too small or too slow, and usually both. It's really not fair. Watching Mike Evans highlights are hilarious, man. It's some of the most just embarrassing highlights you'll ever see, bro. It's just bad. Looks like people just literally don't have a chance. Yeah, we need a turnover. All right, Ryan Tannehill pass incomplete to Robert Woods. So, third and five, get off the field defense. Get off the field, defense. Come on now. Get the ball back to the offense. Let's get right. Yeah, why are we so bad in the first half, though? For real, though. Like, honestly. Honestly, first half. Like, what are we doing? Jay Gruden would start hot, and then we would, we would make no halftime adjustments and get really bad. Just start playing terribly. Ron Rivera can't start hot, and then we just struggle from behind. Yeah, Montez Sweat is balling today because Montez Sweat calls that incomplete pass on second down, and then he gets the sack on third down. Yeah, Montez Sweat is having himself a day, man. This is his day. This is his day, man. Montez Sweat's about to have one of them 90-something grades from Pro Football Focus, one of the best, one of the best grades of the of the week from the entire NFL. Again, he's the reason that Ryan Tannehill threw that incomplete pass to Robert Woods on second down, and he's the one that gets the sack on third down. Y'all better stop playing with Montez Sweat, man. Y'all got to stop playing with Montez Sweat right now, bro. He is sick of it. And y'all know, man, I want, I want Montez Sweat to ball out because he's from Stone Mountain. I really want Montez Sweat to ball out. He's from Stone Mountain. If there's anybody I want to ball out, on this team is Montez Sweat and, and a couple of others. I mean, he's literally bullying people right now, man. Like, that was just a straight-up bully. Like, <laughs> like completely ran over, buddy. Like, what's going on? Said Montez Sweat got to be sick of it. Man, Montez Sweat straight-up bullied that guy. And Dax Milne, what are we doing? Well, whatever, man. Again, he he's not explosive, but at least he's not going to muff the punt. So that's good, but I... I really want somebody else back there, man. Dax Milne is safe, but he's not doing anything to help us on special teams. He's not going to fill it field position. And where the ball gets punted, that's where we're starting to play. He might as well just fair catch everything, literally. He literally might as well just fair catch everything. He's just automatic fair catch. Whether he does, does actually call a fair catch or not, it's just automatically basically where he started, man. It's so bad. Like, why is his acceleration so bad? 
It's just no way he lacks that much athleticism. We got to bring in some guys to at least try out, man. We got to try some guys out. We just got to hold a, a kick return competition, man. Please, something, because I'm personally sick of it. Dax Mill, again, Dax Millen isn't terrible, because at least he's not muffing the punts. Muffing the punts is the worst thing you can do. But at the same time, man, I'm sick of having automatic fair catches. No matter what we do, automatic fair catch. Automatic fair catch, man. Wait, we're throwing bombs? And it's to Diami? Yes, sir. Look at us, man. There goes that Diami Brown bomb we've been waiting on. We said it would happen. We said eventually we would start hitting those bombs. Algic Robinson. Yep, there you go, Rich. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We finally, hey, we said it would finally happen, man. Yes, sir. Great throw by Carson Wentz. Great. Look at Diami Brown finally getting a little bit of separation. Like a little bit. A little bit more than what we were seeing in the preseason. Remember in the preseason, he was getting like barely any. Now he's finally starting to get a little bit. And yeah, Smokes, he did kind of, you know, that was a little. He almost tripped too. He almost fell over after Buddy hit his leg. But hey, man, great play to still make the play. At the end of the day, touchdown, made the play. Good job, Deami Brown. And good throw, Carson Wentz. Good play call by Scott Turner. You could tell that was literally designed. I mean, they have backup safeties in the game, too. And it's just like Scott Turner was like, we're just going to attack the safeties. They have injuries to their safety group. Let's attack the safeties. Sweat just got activated to the active roster, apparently. <laughs> He's finally there. Montez Sweat is finally here. We're not focusing on the bad part of that right now. Yeah, it's no. The play got made. That's all I care about, man. The play got made. That's all I care about. Finally gets. This is what we should have always been doing. We have a very explosive offense. We have a quarterback with a big arm. We have receivers that can outrun any DBs. It's no reason we haven't been able to do that already. Yep, yeah, and I've been talking about can the defense rest and then we go out there and put an immediate, an immediate seven points on the board. So, of course, they can't rest. But I'm still happy. I'll take the points any day. Defense is time to just get up. Yeah, defense can't win. Either we lose fast or we win fast. Defense, get up. I know you're tired. Get out there and do what you just did again. Montez Sweat, we need you. Montez Sweat, we need you. Keep, keep it going. Great job, offense, man. Great play. Great play by the offense. We're starting to figure something out. And also, you got to think about the fact football is a chess match. So after we hit them for that deep bomb right there, that's probably going to open things up in the run game. I mean, don't just go to run heavy. And don't just only run the ball. But that should take a, somebody out the box. That should take at least one guy out the box. They're going to they're gonna be aware of that deep ball now. They're going to be aware of De'Ami Brown now. Other teams are going to start to be aware of De'Ami Brown after that play as well. I'm pretty sure teams have not scouted De'Ami Brown yet. They haven't brought him up in film yet or nothing. They just be like, yeah, they're not even utilizing this guy. He's pretty much just a special teams player. But after that, man, teams are about to watch out for De'Ami Brown now. I'm telling y'all. And But my main point is De'Ami Brown getting that touchdown. Love the seven points. But now that's going to make us more balanced. That's going to make defenses play more balanced. Take a guy out of, the, uh, out of the box. And we should be able to run the ball easier. Hopefully that's less pressure on Carson Wentz. Hopefully this opens up our offense. Hopefully that threat of the deep bomb opens up our offense. Because Scott Turner's weird. Most teams run the ball, and then with the threat of running the ball, hit deep. Scott Turner has wanted us to throw deep and then use throwing deep as a threat to be able to run the ball. He's like the complete opposite of what most coordinators are doing. And now that we finally got that deep bomb, now we can finally get into the playbook that, uh, that Scott Turner wants to get to, hopefully. But hey, man, it looks like Scott Turner in the booth is working. That's what I heard. Scott Turner in the booth is apparently the right idea. And it's crazy, too, because when he announced he was going to be on the sideline, we were like, yes. Like, I think most of us unanimously, it, it seemed like almost unanimous that a lot of people were like, man, yes, go to the sideline, please. But, hey, man, I guess when we're wrong, we're wrong. Thank goodness he's back in the booth, man, because this is just way better. This is way better. You don't need to talk to Carson Wentz face-to-face. It hasn't been working. Get back up in that booth and see the field correctly. 
All right, come on, defense. We need some more of that defense. This is Washington's first lead since week one. That's actually really bad. And just to let y'all know, uh, William Jackson has his helmet off. He's on the sideline. I don't know if he's hurt or whatever, but Benjamin St. Juice is in for him again. All right, come on, man. He said lock him in the booth. Lock and <laughs> keep him there. Let him live there. Go ahead and build him, put a kitchen in there, a toilet, shower. Let him stay there. All right, we're, we're doing a decent job with Derrick Henry. Now, five yards on first down isn't great for our defense, but, you know, it's it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. All right, come on, defense. We need some more of that, man. We need some more of that. So our offense can continue to give them more of that. There it goes. Derrick Henry starting to break through a little bit. Lucas is playing way better. Now, that's a good point. Heineke would not have made that throw to Deami Brown, even though I would love to have Heineke's legs right now because Carson Wentz's lack of mobility is making it easier for defenses to, to, uh, to defend us. Um, Tyler Heineke could not have made that pass. Lucas is playing better at tackle than Cosme. Oh, yeah. I don't even think it's close right now. It's actually kind of sad. It's definitely time to move Samuel Cosme to guard once he gets back healthy. Samuel Cosme isn't playing today. But when he gets back healthy, it's time for him to just go ahead and move the guard. I don't think they'll do it, but that's what I want to do, me personally, in street scores. Go ahead and move him to the right guard. Cornelius Lucas can start at right tackle. And if you need to, draft the tackle high in the draft and just do that. Or get a guy in free agency. You know how amazing it is that they're actually calling holds on the offense? Like, we, they weren't calling those against Dallas. Like, I don't – I mean, it would be nice – if they called it against every team when they did it, but we're finally getting, you know, neutral, neutral calls from the referees right now. I think for Cosme, his biggest problem is probably his arm length, even though his arms aren't that much shorter than Charles Leno. Charles Leno's arms aren't that much longer. I don't, from what I believe, from what I saw, but it just got to be better. Cosme just got to be better. But like I said, I think, uh, like Ivory's been saying as well, quite a bit of people have been saying Cosme's just better at guard. I literally said that too before last week's game too because you could just tell like Samuel Cosme's just better with less space to work with. All you got to do is punish a guy in front of you because Samuel Cosme is still one of the best run blocking tackles in the NFL. So it would be really nice if we could just get him at guard and it will be easier to pass protect. An eligible man downfield. Let's go. Come on now. Second and 23. Look at look at the refs finally calling stuff, man. Refs are finally calling some things for us, man. The refs refused to call anything for us last week, man. Don't need to keep moving, guys. I can see that argument. He was really good at tackle, but it seems like teams have finally watched film on him and have learned how to beat him. He's been getting beat consistently on the outside and pass rush. Again, run blocking-wise, Samuel Cosme is excellent at tackle, but when it comes to pass protection right now, just tuning in for a second in Mississippi visiting family. Okay, Mr. Jones, what's good, man? What's good, man? What's good? Yeah, yes, sir. Diami Brown. Diami Brown. Big touchdown. All right, man. Defense, get off the field. This is not this is not a good situation for the Titans. Get off the field. Don't allow them to convert this. Now, that's one thing we've been good at. We've been pretty good with third downs this year. Now, it's kind of like a, well, of course you're good at third downs because you're allowing them to get all they want on first and second. You're barely in third down situations. But even when we have been, we've actually been able to get off the field. So I'm just really happy that, you know, Bears are getting dragged now. Wait, what's going on? Wait, Georgia's back to number one on the AP poll? I thought they kept us number two. I, got, I thought they just said keep us number two for another week. Oh, yeah. Interception right there would have been beautiful, man. The field positioning would have been amazing. Because we already know we're not going to get anything from Dax Milne on the punt. So an interception would have been beautiful. But we'll take it. Good job getting off the field defense. It takes a couple of flags. It takes some pressure in Ryan Tannehill's face. But, yeah, good coverage by Cameron Curl, too. Jamin Davis underneath. Oh, no, that was Wild Goose. My fault. I said Cameron Curl. I just saw the locks. I just saw the locks. I just saw the locks, man. I just That's all I saw. I just saw locks. 
Oh, yes, sir. Good sack. Good sack. Allen and Payne on it. Allen and Payne on it. Good job, man. Good job. Hey, man, defense is balling. They got us one drive, but other than that, the defense has played very well. The defense has played well every drive, but that one touchdown drive. And again, I just think they were tired because the offense just kept going in um, three and out, three and out, three and out. Other than that, defense has been balling. Good play by Jonathan Allen and Deron Payne coming from behind. That was more so Jonathan Allen than anything, but Deron Payne right there as well, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good job, man. Good job. Good job, team. Good job, defense. Way to get off the field. Way to get off the field. Defense looking good, man. Oh, Dax Milne finally has a good return, but then there's a holding. Man, let me find out, man. It's just not meant to be. Dax Mill must just be bad luck right now. Yeah, Montez Sweat is balling, Jones. Because even beyond that, he has a tackle for loss as well. I think he's caused two holding penalties. I know he's caused at least one. Montez Sweat is like balling. He's our defensive MVP right now. But Jonathan Allen and Deron Payne, a couple of these other guys out there doing a good job as well. What Christian Holmes do? He did something. Christian Holmes held. That was him. What was Christian Holmes' nickname? I forgot. I forgot it too as well. I'm not going to lie. Samuel needs a TD now. I would love one right now. Man, we finally get a decent return. And then it's a hold, man. That sucks. That really does suck. He said, Rico. Hey, Rico, you want a puppy? I would love another one, but nah, we can't have any more over here, man. We can't have any more over here. Yeah, Christian Holmes sold, man. Christian Holmes has been hurting our team preseason and regular season. Gabe Davis with another deep touchdown. I mean, I guess eventually somebody's going to learn how to cover it. Gabe Davis has been one of those fantasy sleepers for the past couple of years. And, hey, man, I'm not complaining. Everybody else keeps sleeping on Gabe Davis. Please keep sleeping on Gabe Davis. I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all are aware, but there's a lot of people out there that just aren't aware of the talent. Remember the, the three touchdown game he had in the playoffs? Three or four, like. Y'all can't, bro. People gotta stop sleeping on Gabe Davis. I'm pretty sure y'all are aware, like I said, but everybody's not hip on Gabe Davis. This is not something new. He been he been doing this. They need to put in Malik Willis. No, please don't. I love Malik Willis. Please, I do not, because that would be just the thing that would give this offense a spark. And then all it takes is a couple of missed tackles on Malik Willis, and he's out there scrambling for first downs on third and long. And then our defense is tired. And then we start allowing big plays to Derrick Henry. Please keep that. Keep Malik Willis on the bench, please. I beg the Titans. Do not bring my boy out. First of all, I don't want to go against my boy right now, man. That's y'all know that's my dog. I really don't want to see him on the field right now, please. He said he can't be stopped if Minka can't guard him. So it was a contested one-handed catch on Minka Fitzpatrick. Oh yeah. Now nah, Gabe Davis is even better than I thought. Even better than I thought if he's out there doing that to Minka. Minka's serious, bro. I mean, we knew that when he was coming out of Alabama, out of Alabama he was going to be serious. But then he kind of went to the Dolphins. Dolphins weren't that good, so he kind of disappeared. Even though he was still playing well, then he found himself on the Pittsburgh Steelers. He's been balling out. Lucky I started Samuel over Terry today. I would start Curtis Samuel over Terry any day, honestly. Terry doesn't get targeted. Terry literally doesn't get targeted. I would start Curtis Samuel over Terry any day. Any day in fantasy. Until Scott Turner proves otherwise, I'm starting Curtis Samuel over Terry. I don't even think that's a thought. I don't even think that's a debate. Okay, Brian Robinson, five-yard runs. This is what we need. This is what we're supposed to be doing. This is what we brought him here for. Thank goodness he's healthy. Let's get it, man. People were saying in the comments that he was hurt, so I'm glad to see that he's not hurt. I started Terry and Curtis because Jahan is hurt. I'm expecting big. I hope so. Man, I'm rooting for you. Malik is an NFL ready. They put him in easy dub. I'm telling you, I know he's raw, but first of all, he's way better now than he was before when he was drafted. He's your Robinson. Good run, though. But uh, he, was, uh, he was raw coming out of the draft, but he's gotten better gotten better during the preseason we saw him literally get better and better preseason and then and, and and i think again like i said i think he would be that spark he would be that one spark that would just send the the titans offense to a to another level because they rally behind them and great play to terry 
Great play to Terry. Yes, sir, man. Good play. Good play to Terry McLaurin, man. Yes, sir. Let's get it. Let's get it, man. Let's get it, man. Good play to Terry McLaurin, bro. Yes, sir. We need that. We needed that, man. As soon as we just talked about Curtis Samuel over Terry in fantasy, there goes Terry right there. There we go, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, Carson Wentz, you got to be better right there. I wish Carson Wentz was just a little bit as, as fast as he used to be for the Eagles, man. If we had Eagles mobility Carson, it would be so different. The offense would literally, like I said, I'm still down to see some Carson Wentz. I'm not really interested in Taylor Heineke that much. If you want to bench Carson Wentz, go ahead and throw Sam Howell out there so we can know if we need to draft somebody. Uh, but, like, Taylor Heineke does provide an element with his legs that we do not have with, with Carson Wentz right now. And then there goes Carson Wentz running for his life. He's slow. And it's crazy. Justin Herbert just did the same thing but got two yards instead of zero. Car Justin Herbert's like one step ahead. And then here goes Nick Martin with a flag. So he has two low snaps, two fumbles that were his fault, not Carson Wentz. And now he's false starting. So now we're second and 15. We need a play, man. We need a play. Yeah, Tyler Larson is, is healthy. We're just not playing him. I guess they want to give him another week. I guess he's the backup this week. He'll probably start next week. Come on, Nick Martin. We need better than that, man. So they're not going to call pass interference on that. They're not going to call passing the fence on that. Refs missed that one. The refs missed that one right there. Would have been nice if they saw it, man. Would have been real nice if they saw it. Throw could have been slightly better. Yeah, I mean, Carson Wentz. I mean, first, there was somebody behind him, though. There was somebody behind him. He was about to get strip sacked. But I, I do feel like that was definitely a pass interference still. But, yeah, it would have been nice to have a better ball by Carson Wentz from there. What's good, James? What's good, James Fisher? What's good? How Diami was fire at UNC. Yep. Boy, where's the PI? Two back-to-back. -back. So they, they didn't call a, a pass interference on Terry McLaurin either right there? So they're just, they're just done calling flags for us. They're like, okay, we gave y'all the two holding flags y'all deserve on the Tennessee Titans offense. Now, when y'all are on offense, we're not going to call anything even when it's that obvious. I feel like the Terry McLaurin one was more obvious than the Diami one. Like, what's going on? Are we good? Are we good? Like, Carson Wentz is highly upset, too. It's kind of funny seeing them that mad. Yeah, the, the Terry McLaurin pass interference was definitely a, a more a bigger miss. A bigger miss than Diami one, in my opinion. But, man, refs. But, hey, we can't depend on the refs. We just got to be better. We, uh, we already know, as the commanders, the refs aren't going to give us anything. At best, the calls will be neutral. And we can hope for neutral. We can hope for neutral. At best, the calls will be neutral. The calls will never go our way, though, ever. Never be one-sided to our way. I think that's a more of a Dan Snyder thing. Good punt, though, Tressway, even though you got ran into. Even though you got ran into, nice punt. Ref's like, sorry, I speak French. <laughs> Carson Wentz yelling at him, don't matter. Rookie, you like the fight song the old head made for us? Uh, it's catchy. I don't like it, but it's catchy. It's catchy, but you know, I mean, you know how I feel about music. Like, if it was Go Go, I would love it. But it has an Atlanta R and B. It's like Atlanta R and B fuse. I don't like it, but it's catchy though, and it's fun to say. But I personally don't really like it, like song wise. Let me go get some apple juice real quick. I'll be right back. But yeah, yeah, if it was on like a go-go beat, I'd probably really rock with it. You asked my opinion. I don't know what, like, 
I don't know what else you wanted. Like, what you, <laughs> you want me to like the song that bad? You just want me to love it with you? You want me to like what you like? We don't want to show a band of rest from the NFL. Hey, I'm not going to lie, though. Hey, let me go ahead and let y'all know this now. The NFL refs are bad, but the SEC refs are worse. I'm telling y'all that now. If y'all ever get a chance to watch an SEC game where it's two SEC teams playing against each other, like, which is most games. That's how college work play works out. Like, most games, SEC versus SEC, we rarely play out of the division. Um, But, like, it's just, like, the refs are way – I'm telling y'all, please – it is both ways. Georgia sometimes will get calls they shouldn't get. Alabama will get calls. The lesser teams, Missouri, all of them, anybody, the refs just be tripping. Like, it's no, like, with the, with our NFL refs, it looks like, okay, they're just trying to, the, the, the Dallas, they just want Dallas to win, to push the narrative, you know what I'm saying, type of thing. But SEC refs are just completely blind. They're not biased to anybody. They're just, te <laughs> it's just terrible. I'm telling y'all. These NFL refs are bad. And again, I wholeheartedly believe it's because Dan Snyder's our owner as to why every team we go against gets better calls than us. I'm just convinced. I'm just, com I'm completely convinced that that is because of Snyder that we don't get calls. But the SEC refs are just plain old bad. Like, it's, bro, there's no consistency. You can't tell who they want to win. It's just, bro, it's just really bad in general. Yeah, Slick, I mean, I'd probably pre prefer that too, but the calls are just, like, really bad, though. Man, Derrick Henry is, is starting to add up. That's that Derrick Henry effect is adding up. Defense getting tired. First of all, stamina-wise, but also just getting tired of having a 260-pound man lower their shoulder into him. You know what I'm saying? But President NFL PA would put these refs in check. Yeah, we, like, it's it's bad. It's, like, the defense gets tired, man. It's inevitable. But that Dolphins throw that got picked off by the uh, Jets, that that ball floated in the air. Like, floated. Who got that interception? Was that Sauce Gardner? That what? Sauce Gardner has an interception. Yes, sir. People need to come together last night and know he needs to sell the team at games. We paid the refs this time. Nah, we haven't paid them. The calls, I would say, are around neutral, but we're definitely not getting the benefit. They definitely missed two pass interferences on on, uh, on uh, Deami Brown and Terry McLaurin. But at least it's a little bit more fair this time. But yeah, Derrick Henry's just squeezing through for these, these chunk plays right now, man. It's starting to get a little scary. Starting to get a little scary. He said Rico the Bot's giving us links terribly. Technically, yeah, technically. The NFL A T V <laughs> Technically. If it wasn't spamming, I wouldn't I wouldn't mind it. It's just so many of them. But I appreciate you getting it out, y'all getting it out the paint. Appreciate that. My boy Michael Santiago with the donation, man. Appreciate that big time. Let me go ahead and get it. We got to get Carlton on the screen, man, real quick. It's the owner. If Jeff Bezos was owner, things would be a whole lot different. Appreciate the donation, man. And like I said, man, anybody but Dan Snyder at this point. I, I literally think the league is blackballing him. And, and we're literally not getting calls because Dan Snyder is our, is our owner. I'm convinced of it. But, yeah, man, I appreciate the donation again big time, man. Really, really appreciate that. Oh, man, we just, we just allowing easy stuff. We just allow, we're, we're allowing stuff to just go right out of our hands right now. Honestly, I don't know how that happens. Man, at least Snyder is a fan. Bezos just wants a toy. <laughs> yeah, I, I really don't. You know, I'm not a big fan of Bezos. I've just been like, I've just been like, Dan Snyder's not the answer. But I haven't been screaming Bezos, me personally, over here. But yeah, there's no way that we let Ryan Tannehill make that play, though. Like, that wasn't a sack. I'm surprised they didn't even blow the whistle. You know, against us, they would have blow, blown the whistle, and that play would have never happened. 
Montez Sweat is having a really good game, though. That's just a really good play by Ryan Tannehill. It's really nothing you can do right there. What's good, DR7? Welcome back. What's good? What's good? Your yeah, Derrick Henry starting to weigh on the team, man. It's starting to weigh on the defense. The offense has to stay on the field longer because the defense is getting tired. And, again, it's not just stamina. You just get sick of having a 260-pound man running their shoulder into you and running you over. You get sick of tackling somebody that that's strong and big, man. You just get sick of it. You really get sick of it. We just got to be, we're getting tired. But at the same time, Derrick Henry's getting tired. Great play by Jamin Davis and, and, and uh, F.A. Abada. Great plays, man. He's a grown man, child. <laughs> yeah, man. Derrick Henry looks a little tired too, though. That's that's pretty nice. But yeah, tackling Derrick Henry throughout the course of a game is not fun. But yeah, good job by F.A. Abada and Jamin Davis. Derrick Henry does look a little tired, though. Good. 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 Thank you. Thank goodness Derrick Henry is a little tired. We need that. Please be tired. Please. Our defense is tired. You got to call that sweat play a sack or he could get hurt. True. I'm Like I said, I'm surprised they didn't call a sack on that play where Ryan Tannehill was able to get that ball off with sack literally draped over him. Because for us, that would have been that play would have been st st um, stopped a long time ago. I remember that one time last season, they stopped the play way earlier than they should have. I think it was against the Falcons. Why is Robert Woods open when he's clearly their best receiver? And I like Kyle Phillips. Love him coming out of the draft. And I think he's underrated. But, like, clearly the guy with the best with the best history and the best stats and the guy that we, like, know for a fact we need to cover, especially with Traylon Burks um, hurt, is, 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 is Robert Woods. Why is Robert Woods open? What's good, Zuri? Appreciate you pulling up. Y'all cannot defend Henry. He's running right through you guys. <laughs> we got to be better, man. We got to be better. Henry is 260 pounds. Bro, I'm telling you, bro. You get tired of tackling a 260-pound grown man all game, bro. So we just got to rally, bro. It takes multiple people to get the job done. Okay, Jamin Davis is putting together his second great performance. Jamin Davis putting together his second great performance, man. He, outside of the Jaguars game, he's been good, pretty good all season, decent at least. But last game against the Cowboys was his best game of his career, and Jamin Davis looks like he's picking right up from where he left off right there. So Jamin Davis getting better. Jamin Davis getting consistent too. That's the main thing. Jamin Davis getting better, more consistent, more confident. He's playing well against the run. He's playing well in coverage. I, I like it, man. I like this new Jamin Davis that we're seeing. I'm loving this new Jamin Davis. Good job, man. Two-minute warning. Three minutes. Uh, I mean, third and eight. Tennessee in our territory on Washington's 40-yard line. Wait, what did Pickens do? Pickens remain elite. It can, wait, Pickens had another one of them catches? Pickens had another. I told y'all, man, Pickens... What I call him is always open, man. It doesn't matter what the coverage is. Pickens is always open. That's what he does. Let me see the replay. I think they're about to show it on red zone, I guess. What did George Pickens do already? He had that one crazy catch against the Browns. Of course, we remember that. I mean, I'm, I hate the fact that people are surprised about George Pickens. That's, like, really irritating me because I've been trying to tell people. George Pickens and Jamison Williams, in my opinion, were the best receivers coming out of this draft class, period. And I felt like there was a gap and then everybody else. George Pickens making crazy catches is literally what he does. I'm surprised people like are acting like this is new. Oh, yeah. Good, good, good catch. Who was that? Deontay Johnson on the sideline? That was beautiful. All right, man. Come on, defense. Get off the field. Third and eight. Nick Chubb, another touchdown. This is what Georgia does. We know this. Was that a was that a catch by Deontay Johnson? Was he in bounds? Because that was beautiful. That was a beautiful toe tap and great throw. Oh, that wasn't a catch. Dang, that was a really good. That looked nice, though. Man, Jamin Davis, I'm telling y'all, man. Jamin Davis balled out against the Cowboys. That was his best. That was literally his best game of his career easily. Wish we take in Pickens, Willis, and a linebacker. That's literally what I wanted. Literally. You can maybe throw in a little bit of Kyle Hamilton in there. That's literally what I wanted. But, hey, it is what it is, man. We're making it work. 
that sideline end zone catch was nice. Bro, it looked beautiful, but they're saying that it he technically wasn't in bounds. But either way, that was a great, I mean, maybe just like a, a slight half a foot over to the left. That's a touchdown. That that was a beautiful throw and a beautiful catch. It sucks that it didn't count, though. He technically was out of bounds, but that it looked really good. Imagine if we take Pickens and Dotson. Technically possible. Could have done both. But, I, I mean, now that we have Fedarian Mathis, love Pickens, but it sucks that Fedarian Mathis is out for season, but I'm happy that we have him. So it is what it is. I, st I would have done the draft differently, of course, but I'm happy with some of the with a lot of the guys that we have. I'm very happy about Brian Robinson now. Cowboys Tony Romo says Steelers George Pickens is going to be one of the best wide receivers in the NFL. I'm just, I, it's really annoying me that people are, are are confused. Like people are shocked. People are shocked that that George Pickens is this good. Like I'm just, I, I just don't see where the shock is coming from. Yeah, Montez Sweat, we got to be better than that, man. Can't have those, man. Cannot have those. Cannot have those, man. Pickens was still at the draft. He probably will end up being. Pickens made my list rough in the passer. So we just can't get right. We just can't get right. Just can't get right, man. Two penalties in the same play. Yeah, that's just a terrible play, man. That was just that was terrible by the defensive line. That was terrible. Montez Sweat, you don't even need to rush it. You've been beating this guy all day. Don't rush it, man. Don't rush it, man. Pickens still a draft. You be considered that as a second rounder. I mean, it depends if he goes out there and becomes a Hall of Famer, which I think he could be. I'm not guaranteeing it, but I think he definitely has a chance. My coach just worried about character, not who's good. That's why we took Alec Pierce instead of Pickens. It's frustrating. I mean, I like Alec Pierce a lot. I liked a lot of what I saw from him from Cincinnati. So you can't be too mad. But yeah, I would definitely prefer Pickens over Alec Pierce for sure. Like, I, to me, George Pickens and Jamison Williams best receivers in the draft we'll see though we'll, we'll see when time passes did dk metcalf drop a wide open touchdown oh boy gots to be more careful let's see what's going on with our game right now they're like wow what's what's the silence what's the pause oh there we go Derek can re up for four yards all right yes sir alex we had 13k yes sir yes sir hit the 13k hit the 13k Travis, I believed in you. I mean, if you, I mean, I understand second round pick, you know, not necessarily still the draft, but if what if he ends up being literally like a top three player from the draft period, defense, offense, whatever, that's a steal. If you get a, a player that should have been drafted in the top 10 in the second round and he plays like it, I think that's a steal. Of course, if somebody's like a seventh rounder and is a pro bowler, that's the steal of the draft, but George Pickett should at least be part of the conversation with the same. Come on, defense, man. Can't allow these, bro. Derrick Henry, man. We gave Derrick Henry a little bit of a break. That man basically reloaded. He charged up during that two-minute warning. Defense, we got it. We got to respond. Defense, we got to respond. Hold them to a field goal. Because right now, Derrick Henry is, is running. Derrick Henry is running right now, man. Hold them to a field goal, please. Please, let's go into this halftime tied up. I mean, a, a turnover would be lovely. Like, a, a nice little fumble, like, nice little interception would be ideal. Why well, take a timeout with 59 seconds? Man, we got to let Derrick Henry get tired. Please. Somebody, please. This is a weird timeout, though, but. Man, Derrick Henry, bro, chill out, bro. Chill out. Stay tired. Defense. Stay energized. Keep playing hard. Force a field goal. Justin Jefferson's out here having fun.
Time out. Man, bro, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of uh, I'm sick of Derrick Henry getting time to rest, man. It's 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 scaring me. It's scaring me. Definitely scaring me. Turn over a three points very at the very least. Double edged sword. We get break two. And the Titans started off with the ball for this game, so we get ball at halftime, which is nice. Why are the Patriots beating the Lions this bad? Like, what's going on? Defense, we need to hold, man. We need to hold. And I just don't understand why we would call a timeout. Yeah, Cole, thanks. Shouts out to Cole Hokum for that one uh, tackle. So, Wild Goose is out there with Fuller and St. Juice playing outside. So, William Jackson has been benched. He's not hurt. William Jackson is benched. So, let me just go ahead and let that be known. Just to let y'all know, William Jackson has been benched. I just want to go ahead and put that out there. Bro, hold him to three points. Let's get a turnover, something. And yeah, that's just a crazy catch. That's just a crazy catch, man. There's nothing you can really do about that. Nothing you can really do about that. Derrick Henry's just a, a different type of guy, bro. I'm not even mad at that coverage by Jamin Davis. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that at all. I still don't understand. Yeah, William Jackson III was benched. Yeah, I just don't understand why Rivera called that first timeout. We did that last game and then ran the ball. Why, why call a timeout just to run the ball when you get on offense? Like, I'm not, I'm personally not understanding it from Ron Rivera. Why was he benched? I mean, I I didn't really see. I just saw it on Twitter. I don't exactly know what he did. I know he woofed on a couple of tackles on Derrick Henry, but then again, it's Derrick Henry. So I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I, did, I don't really expect William Jackson to be able to tackle Derrick Henry one-on-one -on -one anyway. And yep, there it goes. Derrick Henry touchdown. Well, there it goes. They ran a nice, efficient little, what was that, five-minute drive? Was that a five-minute, five, six-minute five, six drive to run out the clock and get a touchdown? That's how they're supposed to do it. Defense, it would have been real nice to escape out of there with only allowing three or less points, but it is what it is, man. Too many penalties. They called penalties against us, didn't call it against them. It is what it is, man. We already know how that goes. But I just don't understand the timeout from Ron Rivera. Like, you just going to get the ball and run it again? I, Ron Rivera's time management is atrocious. Like, I'm just not getting it. I'm not understanding Ron Rivera's uh, clock management. I, I literally don't get it. Literally don't get why we called a touchdown in that situation at all. Yeah, I, if anybody can explain to me, anybody can explain to me what Ron Rivera be doing with them timeouts, please. Met fire team sucks. Your coaching staff has to be changed. Heineke, Heineke, Heineke. <laughs> Ron Rivera's clock management. I, I literally don't get it. He said I'm 19 and Ron causing me to get hair, gray hairs. Ron can't tell time. <laughs> like, bro, what? Nah, last last week's made me the maddest because, like, we we called timeouts on one of those Cowboys drives right before the end of the half. And then when we got on offense, we just ran the ball. We had, like, a minute left and just ran the ball. Why? Jamin Davis for defensive coordinator. <laughs> Why? Like, what are we calling timeouts for if we're not going to do anything? So, 
So I'm just confused though. Why did Ron Rivera and then also like okay, Ron Rivera called the timeout the first time and then he didn't call the second one. Like, are you in or out? Like, are we trying to hurry up and score? Or are you giving up? Like, what do we do? Why are we in the middle? Why do we call a timeout the first time and then not call a timeout the second time? Like, literally, what are we doing? I just literally don't get what Ron Rivera is trying to do. Like, I, I if anybody can explain it, ooh, Alvin Kamara just fumbled bad, too. And I, I got to hey, I gotta take that L, man. When, Ron, when Alvin Kamara is balling, I'm always claiming him. You know, it's another Atlanta guy, but... Man, that was a really bad fumble right there, man. We got to be better than that, Alvin. Derek, he's a man. Henry, these former players. Ron Rivera is just as stingy with the timeouts as he is with free agency spending. Ron too hard-headed. Think he knows it all. Did all of that and then took a knee. Just got to love it, right? Just got to love it. Does Gabe Davis have another touchdown? Deji get hurt? I don't think so. I don't know what's going on as far as that goes. Josh Allen's having fun right now, though. Josh Allen's having the time of his life. Quick, we need a fast halftime so I can eat while we play. Man, I don't know what that last drive was. Defense and Ron Rivera with the clock management, but we just got to be better, period. But, man, defense, literally the two drives that they've shown any weaknesses the, the Titans have scored touchdowns. Other than that, they've completely shut down the Titans on, on every other drive. But the two drives where they've allowed the Titans to get anything, they, they the Titans have scored touchdowns, which sucks. And then the offense, outside of a couple of explosive plays, has not been really good at all. It's not been consistent. Um, so the offense got to be better. Defense has to be more consistent. But Scott Turner in the booth definitely has made a difference. But it's crazy. Without that De'Ami Brown deep bomb we will be down 14 to 3 so we offense just got to be more consistent and put together better drives because right now our only touchdown is a first down 80 yard bomb like we have not put together like a good get a first down here first down there first down again type of drive yet we haven't put down a long sustaining drive yet a good one um so we got to be better than that man simple plain and simple we got to be better but yeah I, william jackson got benched for uh, Wild Goose. Well, technically, Wild Goose moves to the slot and Benjamin St. Juice moves outside. So, technically, William Jackson got benched for Benjamin St. Juice, but Wild Goose comes into the game to take over with St. Juice uh, slot position. So, I think that's really interesting. We've seen some John Bostick this game. John Bostick messed up a play, so they benched him through and Jamin da threw Jamin Davis back in there. Jamin Davis has had a really good game overall. Granted, that one Derrick Henry catch right there right before the end of the half that was just a really good throw and a really good catch that was just a really professional play from two veterans Jamin Davis had good coverage there I can't be mad at him um but overall man think I think Benjamin St. Juice has played fairly well too they're not really even throwing it his way so that means he's doing his job again I'm not exactly sure why William Jackson got benched I don't know what he did because I haven't really noticed his name being called out a lot as far as not making good plays what's good weston hurt t hurt was good was good but um i don't know i haven't really heard william jackson's name called like i haven't really seen him do anything uh, the only thing i remember him doing was that one missed tackle on derrick henry that's it and even then like he did what he was he was he did what he was kind of supposed to do which is dive at derrick henry's legs he just missed other than that, I don't really remember William Jackson doing anything terribly. And the Jets are balling right now, man. Hey, y'all better stop sleeping on Bailey Zap. Even though the Dolphins look like they're trying to score right now. What's good, Scott Harley, man? My boy Scott in the UK, man. What's good? My boy Richard became a rookie sponsor, man. I really appreciate that, man. Big time. Appreciate you, man. Shouts out to everybody that became sponsors today. Shouts out my boy Richard, man. Really appreciate that. Got to get Carlton Dance on the screen for that one, man. Need to get Terry more involved. Rico, you need to suit up for Thursday night game. I'm thinking about it at this point, man. I feel like I need to be able to help in some way. Boy, I don't know what's going on in that Jets game. That boy Zach Wilson doing his thing. Now, Josh Allen has four touchdowns. Like, he's having fun. 
Oh, yeah, that one-handed grab by Gabe Davis was crazy. Good coverage by Minka. Minka was right there with him. That technically wasn't even like a smart throw. It was a good throw. It was a really accurate throw, but it was not a smart throw. Nick Chubb absolutely killing it for me today. Oh, yeah. I mean, a Georgia Bulldog, we already know. We already know what a Georgia Bulldog going to do. You know what I'm saying? What's good, Viscount? My, my channel member in the building. Yes, sir. What's good, Virginia Slim? What's good, everybody that's pulling up, man? Yeah, refs don't like us. Yeah, shouts out to the Giants, man. Better coach team than us. I still feel like on paper we're the more talented team than the Giants, but they just have way better coaching than we do. Ron Rivera doesn't know how to use timeouts, and Brian DeBall knows how to to win a to win a, a comeback against the Green Bay Packers in the UK. Like I, I mean, but Bailey Zappi is hooping right now. Chubb got me 21 points at half, though. Hey, man, when in doubt, put your trust in the Georgia Bulldog. I'm telling y'all, George Pickens is about to show people. The past 10 years, yeah, you could say Georgia Georgia players in the NFL haven't been spectacular. Even though Ronquan Smith and Nick Chubb have been holding it down. Ty Gurley was holding it down before that. Um, but in general, Georgia hasn't had a lot of really good NFL players in the league. But we starting to get them now, man. We starting to finally recruit well and... Yeah, man, shouts out to the Giants for that win, man. I, I can't hate. Brian DeBall is coaching his tail off, and a lot of us, a lot of us, I, I'm not even going to take credit for it because a lot of people, including me, said that that Giants coaching staff is scary before the season even started. And they're already way ahead of schedule than I expected. I didn't expect them to beat the Green Bay Packers. But the reason I'm not really surprised is because they have a really good coaching staff. It's not even just Brian DeBall. They made a couple of really good hires in their coaching staff. So, man, shouts out, hey, man, shouts out to them, man. They're, 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 right now, we're the worst, we are easily the worst team in the NFC East right now. And I, I don't even feel like we're that bad. We're just not, our, our coaching staff is just struggle. It looks like we have the worst coaching staff. Us or the Cowboys. Right now, the Eagles and the Giants coaching staffs are, are doing their thing. Well, really, the Eagles are the most talented team in the division easily. You could argue the Giants may have the best coaching staff in the division. And then we're just that ugly middle of, like, we're not as talented as the Eagles and our coaching isn't as good as the Giants, and that's why we're struggling. Who is wild good? See, he's the guy that we picked up a minute ago. Gabe Davis and Diggs, best wide receiver duo in the league. Kele Ringo is replacing Fuller in 23. I mean, and I love Keely Ringo. Y'all know him as a Georgia Bulldog fan, love him. He's replacing William Jackson the third. Yeah, I about to say, if anything, he's replacing William Jackson, not Kendall Fuller. Uh, and that sucks, too, because, like, if you could put Kendall Fuller's brain into William Jackson, you literally have a top five corner. William Jackson has all of the athleticism. Kendall Fuller has all of the, the intelligence and the IQ, but they just, uh, we got to fuse them. But, yeah, I love Keely Ringo, but he gets beat too often right now. He has all of the athleticism, limps, and tools that you can ask for. Like, if you were to build a cornerback in the lab, it would be Keely Ringo. But he still has a lot of mental stuff he needs to work on because he uh he just gets beat too often, man. It's been making me mad, like, in real life. Like, watching Georgia games the past couple of weeks, he looks like he's taken a step back from last year. It looked like he was, he was better last year than this year. I don't know what's going on. I mean, he's getting beat, like, one-on-one -on -one contested catches, allowing guys to separate. I don't know what's going on. Overall, he's still playing well. I'm not saying Keele Ringo's playing bad, poorly, um, but he just hasn't been as good as I thought that he should have been. And again, it's a lot of mental stuff. Like, we can still work on it. He has all of the physical tools. Eli Ricks, I loved him coming out of high school, but I haven't really watched him in, like, this year. I haven't really watched him this year much. So I don't, I don't know what's going on this year with Eli Ricks. I'm going to have to go back and watch some film or maybe catch a game. Like, really pay attention to him. I haven't really paid attention to him. Outside of my Georgia Bulldogs, I've mostly been watching, like, Will Anderson. Like, when I'm watching Alabama, my eyes on Will Anderson every snap. Again, first of all, he's one of the best players in the draft, but also he's from the state of Georgia. He's a traitor. You know, he went to Alabama instead of to Georgia. It's cool. Uh, you know, it's cool. But he's still from Georgia, so I root for him. Still from the state of Georgia, so I, and I just love watching him. I love dominant edge rushes. Defensive line, like I already said, is my favorite uh um position to watch in football and for him to just be that dominant like Khalil Mack with a uh, Khalil Mack that can cover 
it's just so fun to watch. I love Will Anderson, man. I'm, I'm, I'm so sad he plays for Alabama, but it is what it is. But yeah, outside of my Georgia Bulldogs, Will Anderson is easily the player I've been watching the most. Because first of all, I just watch Alabama the most because I'm rooting for them to lose every week. Except for, again, this past week when they played Texas a and I got to root against the cheaters, man. I can't root for the cheaters. So I, I got to, I had to, I hate to root for Alabama for any reason, but I rooted for Alabama, man. I had to. Wentz 150 passing yards. I mean, that's not terrible. We need a top draft pick. I'd rather lose and get that. Mill should wear dancing shoes instead. Put Williams back there. <laughs> He's put Jonathan Williams. Antonio Johnson from Texas A&M is cornerback, but that dude is a monster. Nickel slot, even at 6'3", but I love to get Garrett Williams or Cam Hart later in the draft to play outside corner. All right, my boy. Y'all know my boy Washington Command Center is always on it early. Y'all know, I, I mean, I love watching college football, but I'm not necessarily watching it with a draft lens just yet. I'm just watching college football. Whatever game I can catch outside of my Georgia Bulldogs, I'll catch it. Like I said, Alabama normally plays in the evening at night. Even when it's against a team that's not good, they just like prime time. So it's easier to catch their games. But I'm going to start. I'm going to try to catch other games too. I watched one uh, Will Levis game. I wasn't impressed. I, I still don't see the hype. I still don't get it. But I don't know, man. Maybe I'm missing something. I don't see it. And I still haven't been able to catch an Ohio State game to see how Stroud looks yet. I need to catch an Ohio State game, though. Who are your top five quarterbacks? It's hard for me to really say because I haven't been watching them like that yet. I know Will Levis, I know he's definitely not top three. I think by default, Stroud, Young, and somebody else got to be better than him at least because I didn't like that. Um, Bencham didn't trust me. I went to school with Wild Goose. <laughs> the coaches can't see nothing. But, yeah, I, I mean, I've been watching college football, but I haven't watched it enough to have, like, a top five quarterbacks yet. If I were to do a top five quarterback list, that would be based on what I've seen other people say so far. That's, that's literally all I know. I've just been, you know, I've read a couple of things on Will Levis, like tw on Twitter and stuff like that, some articles. And so that's why I said when I watched that that one game I watched with Kentucky, I was like, I don't see it. Like, I'm not seeing exactly what people are seeing in him yet. But I, I think I just got to watch more games. Maybe that was just a bad game from him. I don't know. Stroud Young, the Florida quarterback. Oh, yeah, Anthony Richardson is different. I almost forgot about him. He's pretty good. I didn't think he would be this good, too. He was always athletic, but, like, he just couldn't, like, actually play the quarterback position well. But he's starting to learn how to play quarterback well. And even, hey, that quarterback from uh, from Auburn, uh, that guy's really athletic. And once he can learn how to actually play the quarterback position, he might be pretty straight because he, he was outrunning some Georgia guys. And, you know, our team is full of five stars and four stars, and he was outrunning some of our guys. So, I mean, if that guy can can learn how to, you know, be a better quarterback, that's like the mental things and going through his reads, being more accurate, knowing when when to get rid of the ball, pocket presence. If he can work on all of that stuff, which is the hardest part, you know, I'm not trying to make it sound easy. But if he can get that, he'll be really good. But Anthony Richardson has already progressed a little bit like that in that way. Like he I didn't think he would be this good of a quarterback um, as, as he is already. And so. With him improving, it's no reason to, to think that he can't improve anymore. He's already shown some. So, hey, man, Florida quarterback might do something. And I hate Florida. Y'all know that's my rival. But, um, hey, man, I got to give credit when credit is due, man. Kyle Pitts and uh, um, Kadarius Toney, C.J. Henderson. I got to give them credit when credit is due. What are your thoughts on Ravens backup quarterback? I would love to get him, but the, 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 the uh, Ravens are never going to let him go. They're never going to let Huntley go, ever. I like Grayson McCall. Stroud and Young are better than the rest, so those two are the top, clearly. See, that's what I've been hearing, and that's what everybody's pretty much saying unanimously right now. But, I, again, I just haven't watched enough to say it definitively on my end. You don't believe in Stetson? No, I do not. I appreciate everything he's done for us, and I love it when he uses his legs. But, I mean, he misses way too many open deep shots. There were three plays where somebody was wide open down the field and he literally would overthrow him, underthrow him, whatever. Stetson Bennett definitely holds our team back in the passing game, but he makes up for it kind of with his legs. But, man, Stetson Bennett, man, I can't wait. Stetson Bennett's going to be another Taylor Heineke. Hey, I love Stetson Bennett, but I'm not going to lie. I think I've seen enough from Taylor Heineke to definitely assume Taylor Heineke is the better quarterback. I'm not going to lie. 
We'll see, because Stetson Bennett does play in the SEC. So maybe, maybe there's something to that. But I don't know. And I love Stetson Bennett. I appreciate everything he's done for, for us. He won us a championship, the first championship I've seen us win in my lifetime. But, you know, I just, I don't know, man. Stetson Bennett, go look at that Auburn game, man. He missed three wide open guys down the field. Like, literally somebody not within five yards of the receiver, 50-yard throws, completely missing them. We literally should have scored like 60 points against Auburn, but Stetson Bennett missed a lot of opportunities. And what's going on, Dax Mill? What, what was that? Does any did anybody see that that uh that that return from Dax Mill? What was that? Oh yes, sir. Getting Terry involved. Getting Terry involved. Yes, sir. Getting Terry involved. Yes, sir. Good job. Getting Terry involved. Thank you, Scott Turner. Thank you, Carson Wentz. Thank you, O-line. Just target Terry. He's gonna make some. He's gonna make some shake, man. That's what Terry does, bro. Get Terry involved. He's gonna make something happen, bro. I think that's. I think that's quite simple. I. I just feel like that's fairly obvious, and that's on. Uh, that's on Kevin Byard too that he did that. That's their best. That's their best defensive back right there. Even though he was probably the last one to arrive technically. But that's their best defensive back that, that was near Taylor, um, Terry McLaurin on that play. Good hit by Kevin Byard, though. But it, I really feel sorry for him because he's kind of out there by himself. The Titans have a lot of injuries to the secondary. A lot. A lot of injuries. Kevin Byard is really out there by himself, man. I feel sorry for him. But good throw by Carson Wentz. Great catch by Terry McLaurin. And now Carson Wentz scrambling. Carson went scrambling. Yeah, that Dax Milne return was terrible, Taliban. That was terrible. I'm trying to move on from it. Thank goodness we've had some positive plays after that because that was terrible. Carson went with a little five-yard run. Brian Robinson gets one yard after that. Look at the Bears having fun, man. Bears having a little bit of fun. It's so fun watching mobile quarterbacks. I root for guys like Justin Fields and Lamar Jackson. I love watching that. I wish we had one of those, so I'm going to always root for it. I'm not going to hate because another team has it and we don't. Get the first, come on. All right, man, third and short, bro. Let's get this, man. Put Gibby on kickoffs. I agree. I'm definitely with that. Definitely with the Gibby for kickoffs uh, movement. Let me mute my mic and blow my nose real quick. All right, I'm back. Yeah, I don't know what that uh that throw on third down was. And it sucks, too, because we were so close to field goal range. I hate going three and out that close to field goal range. We should be able to put up some type of points. Some type of points, man. Logan Thomas is inactive. He's not playing today. Logan Thomas is inactive. So we have Cole Turner, Armani Rogers, and John Bates. No Logan Thomas today. Cole Turner? Cole Turner really tall. He's about 6'5 or something like that, but then again, Carson Wentz just, I don't know where he threw that, man. I don't know where Carson Wentz even tried to throw that one. Uh, Volley kit broke. Uh-oh. Now I'm ugly. <laughs> now I'm ugly. Man, Patriots making it look so easy. Why couldn't we hold the Detroit Lions to zero points at halftime? Like, what, what are we doing? What did we do wrong? Then again, the Lions do have a lot of injuries, and they were healthier. Offense-wise, offense, offense, offense -wise, they were more healthy against us than they are the past couple of weeks. They've been out with DeAndre Swift and Armand Ross St. Brown, but still, like, 
I feel like even without those two, the way our defense was playing for the first half, they would have allowed a bunch of points. All right, man, let's get it. Come on, y'all. Come on, defense. We need another one. Wait, did Trevor Lawrence just throw an interception in the end zone? Oh, my Lord, man. You can't do that, man. Can't do that, Trevor Lawrence. Logan is a better pass catcher, though. Right now, Cole Turner has a higher ceiling, but right now, I definitely trust him. Definitely trust Logan Thomas more than a Cole Turner right now. I mean, this is Cole Turner's first NFL game. Oh, and that was Derek Stingley on that interception on uh, Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence, you threw an interception to Derek Stingley in the end zone. That's terrible. I'm all for testing out how. I mean, like I said, if we don't like Carson Wentz, I don't really see the point of going to Taylor Heineken. I mean, granted, you could try to make a playoff run type of thing, but I want to see what Howe has before, because I don't want to get to the draft, and then we're like, nah, we shouldn't take such and such. Like, a lot of y'all like Stroud and, and Bryce Young. I don't want to be here. I don't want to hear us not, uh, you know, take one of those guys because we're like, we still don't know what Howe can provide us. I mean, at the end of the day, Howe was a fifth round pick, and I'm excited about Howe, but he was a fifth round pick. Did DK Metcalf fumble? So he dropped an open, he dropped a, a, a open catch in the touchdown for a touchdown, and then he just fumbled. So DK Metcalf is literally selling the Seahawks, and they're still winning currently. DK Metcalf is literally selling the game right now. It's actually quite bad. All right, come on, defense. Get off the field, man. Get off the field, please. I beg of you. All right, let's see. Let me see. All right, bet. But get off the field on third down, defense. Get off the field on third down. Get off the field on third down. I do like the fact that we are running five defensive linemen. That's what we brought John Ridgeway in for. Rocking the 91, the Ryan Kerrigan 91. John Ridgeway in the middle. All right, get off the field on third down, y'all. Rico. I sure hope to see your commanders get a pick six here. Appreciate that, King Jamie. Appreciate that, man. Thank you for the good luck. I would love it, man. I would really love so. Yeah, Benjamin St. Juice does have to play a little bit better, though. He definitely played better last week against Dallas than he is this week, which is weird. Like, he, he's struggling to cover Robert Woods more than he, than he was struggling to cover CeeDee Lamb. But, hey, it is what it is. Football's weird, man. Football's very weird. Yes, sir. Good play by Cameron Curl. Yes, sir. Punt that ball. Punt that ball. Let's get this good field positioning going. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good good job, defense. Way to get off the field, man. Way to get off the field. All right, man. Come on, offense. Let's go put up some points now. Let's go put up some good points. Let's, get up, let's go put up a good amount of points. Let's go put up some a nice little seven. Let's put up a nice little seven. That's what we really need to do. All right, man. Yeah, that was a great play by Cameron Curl right there, though. That was that was nice. Thank goodness somebody finally was able to sniff out a screen and make a play on it. But I'm pretty sure they were aware before the play started. Like, they're probably going to throw a screen here. Like, they don't really have too many other options. They're probably going to play it safe, throw a screen, and live the fight another day. So, man, hey, man, shouts out, shouts out to Cameron Curl for eating that block up and making the play. That's an offensive lineman that Cameron Curl's eating up right there. Cameron, oh, just to let y'all know, I don't think y'all know this, but Cameron Curl has been graded the best safety in the NFL since he's returned from injury. The past two weeks, again, not including this one, his return against the Eagles and then the game he played against the Cowboys, He's the highest graded safety over the course of those two weeks with a 90-something average. But this is great field position to start with. Offense, don't fold this. Please. Please. Please don't fold this. Yeah, I think J.D. McKissick will be a better returner as well. Come on, offense, bro. We need something out of this. We need a touchdown, please. 
Need a touchdown out of this, please, man. I'm begging y'all. We do not want this game to get out of control, man. We do not want this game to get out of control. We want Tress. <laughs> Tress would be an amazing quarterback. Deami Brown wouldn't be worse than Milne. Yeah, I just, I, I want to see anybody back there. My boy King Jamie with the donation, man. Appreciate that. Chiefs fan in the building coming in to donate and show support, man. I really appreciate that, man. Welcome back to the stream, man. Appreciate that. Got to get Carlton dancing for you. Appreciate the donation. Glad to see you are still doing a great show, man. Thank you, man. Just here every week. Here every week. As long as I'm not sick, here every week, man. Appreciate the donation, man. Big time, man. Again, appreciate the support from another team, man. That's a Chiefs fan right there. Deron Payne returning is better. <laughs> better than Wentz for our whole cap in a second. He said better than Wentz for our whole cap. Who's slower, Wentz or Milne? Yeah, bro. I, I said I can't tell. Put Jonathan Allen on punt return. Why do I keep using Dax Mill? It's just because he can catch. It's because he won't muff the punt. They're just playing it safe. They don't, they're not striving for electric. They're not striving for what DeAndre Carter brought to us. They're just they just want somebody that won't muff the punt. And that's simple. And I get I mean, in a situation like that where you know you're guaranteed to get good field positioning, I can't be too mad at it. But like overall, I definitely want to make a switch. But that's literally it. It's just because Dax Milne doesn't muff punts. He'll catch the ball. Wait, J.P. Finlay said something about Kid Cudi. I don't even know what's going on. I say give Diami a shot. They're, hey, they're, they're, they're clamping down on our run game right now. They're not allowing Brian Robinson to get anything going. Thank you, King Sean. Appreciate that. Getting that guy, getting the robot out the paint. Coaching staff is still stubborn. They got a bench Milne. Again, Milne is safe, but it's just, it's not working. It's not good. It's definitely not good. You definitely, I don't care how big of a Dax Milne fan you are. It's not good. But at least, at least he's not muffing the punt, but I definitely want somebody different. Okay, Carson Wentz with a block. Carson Wentz with a block. I see you, Carson Wentz, laying your body out in the line to get a dub. Can you put that same energy into your accuracy, though, and your decision-making, please? Can you put that same amount of energy and effort into your accuracy and, and, and decision-making? <laughs> Wentz over Trey Turner. <laughs> nah, that's a great block by Carson Wentz, man. Yes, sir. I mean, he is a big guy, but still, you just don't want, you know, you don't want your quarterback putting, yourself, putting himself in harm's way too often. But what's going on offense? Come on now. Like, overall, what's going on? I know Jahan Dotson isn't here, and that definitely affects our team. Oh, yeah, my boy Adam Trotman getting a little bit of run. Remember, I loved Adam Trotman coming out of the draft. I wanted him so bad. My boy Adam Trotman, even though, I mean, it was incomplete, but at least he's getting targeted. Um, but, yeah, man, I mean, I know Jahan Dotson isn't here, and I know we want to get Deami Brown involved, but, like, Curtis Samuel and or Terry McLaurin have to be open on situations like this. Somebody, somebody, man, please. I'm sick. There's no reason we started with the field position that we started with and, and ended up in this situation. There's literally no reason. You have to score some points. No excuse. Literally none. Literally none. None at all. Said we're going for it. That's what we doing. Is this that riverboat run, bro? Is this that riverboat run? How's your O-line holding up? I don't get the game today, so I'm listening here. I mean, they've been slightly better today, but they it just it, it hasn't been good. I wouldn't say the offensive line has necessarily been good today, but they've been better today than they've been. So that's nice. You know what I'm saying? That. That's decent. Well, see, they, they might as well punt. It's what you expect from Washington. 
Bro, we can't blame defense for giving up hella points when our offense three and out machine. That's what I'm saying. Hey, man. Our defense is not the blame for a lot of our problems, man. It's definitely the offense more than anything else. If you plan on going for it, why wouldn't you run the ball on third down? That's a good point. Common sense, hey, it's, it's in your name. It's in your name, but, hey, our coaching staff clearly doesn't have any. I don't know. The ref's on the sideline. <laughs> Veronese gone. Scott Turner as well. Stake offensive strategy. I'm a big defense guy, so I'm glad to see you holding the Titans down under below 20. Hey, man, we're trying. We're trying. They have batted down every pass he throws. And, I, hey, people always complain about short quarterbacks getting their passes batted down, but it's happening to Carson Wentz. It's happening to Carson Wentz right now. We just can't get nothing to work, man. I mean, but that was batted down not even by the defensive line that time. But, yeah, man, it's just got to be more accurate. We ran Wildcat with Mill. Well, now the Tennessee Titans start with pretty good field positioning. I got to look at the all 22 in that play to see, like, was nobody open or did Wentz just not see somebody that was open? We want Hal. <laughs> yeah, Hal's, I'm pretty sure, inactive. He's never been active so far this season. He couldn't play even if we wanted him to. Hey, man, offense, bro. Like, what's going on for real, though? That field positioning you started with, there's no excuse. You literally didn't move. You literally got six yards on the entire drive. What is going on? It's so frustrating to watch. It makes literally no sense. It literally makes no sense that we, uh, that we got six yards with field position and starting like that. It just doesn't make any sense. Come on, defense. We need another bell out, man, because the offense, I don't know what they're trying to do. It's definitely not the defense's fault this game. It's For the past three weeks, it's been the offense, straight-up offense. Three and a half weeks, honestly. Defense trying to do what they can, but, man, offense got to be better. Apparently, we had Cole Turner one-on-one -on, -one on a fade route, and we didn't go there. I would have preferred that than what we did. Run blocking isn't good. We need playmakers at every level. Coach, our offense thinks, what's the penalty for playing an inactive player? <laughs> I think the refs would step in and escort that man out, like, like, like security or something. I don't know how that works. Stroud has all of the targets in the world. He probably won't be that good. That's an argument. Again, I can't. I don't have an opinion on Stroud yet. I haven't watched Ohio State this year. I've been watching my Georgia Bulldogs and usually other SEC teams. I haven't had the chance to really watch um, other teams like that, especially like Ohio State. But I'm going to get to it eventually. I'm going to catch an Ohio State game soon, see what Stroud looks like for real. Again, I haven't watched them enough to really develop an opinion. But, hey, man, we got 300 people in here. So, if y'all can, please like up the stream, man. It's free for y'all and it means the world to me. So, I'd really appreciate it. But, yeah, man, this offense is terrible, bro. Right now, we will have three points outside of a, a nice deep bomb. And I don't want to call it a fluke, but that's our one explosive play so far this game. That's our one explosive play in a while. You know what I'm saying? So, it's just like we got to be way better than what we are right now. Outside of that Deami Brown play, our offense has not been good. It could, it could easily be 14-3 to three right now. But good play by Cole Holcomb. Yes, sir. Good play. Good start by the defense. Start Howell after the Chicago game. I'm not going to lie. I would not. If Carson Wentz keeps playing poorly, we could end up seeing Howell starting like after a bye week. And William Jackson, again, is still benched. He's still on the sideline, not injured, just chilling. Just just literally just chilling. Just just cooling. We have, Wild, we have Benjamin St. Juice moving to the outside to take William Jackson's spot. And then we have Wild Goose. Um, we have Wild Goose, uh, in the slot. Hey, man, F.A. Abada. F.A. Abada making plays. Yes, sir. I'm telling y'all, F.A. Abada is that guy. F.A. Abada right now has our highest pressure percentage out of any of our defensive ends, higher than Monsa Sweat, anybody. If you're talking about on a per snap basis, how many pressures he has, he's like killing everybody on our team. F.A. Obata is easily the better pass rusher. Jay Smith-Williams is the better run stopper. 
But still, I want to see more F.A. Abada. And that play showed it right there. That play showed it right there. That's why I want to see more F.A. Abada right there. That man does not stop, man. He does not stop. Constant hustle. I like the fact that our that our defensive line is being disciplined too. You know, our defensive line has had really bad problems with allowing quarterbacks to scramble out. But they're surrounding the quarterback. They're getting pressure. They're, F.A. Abada stayed disciplined. He didn't keep going to the outside. Remember, that's the problem we had last year and the beginning of this year and a lot in preseason. Our, our edge rushers are constantly going forward. Instead of keeping their heads up, that play, he was going forward, saw Ryan Tannehill stepping up in the pocket. He came back, and he was the one that made the sack because of it. That was one of our main problems right there. But good job by the defense. Good job getting off the field. Offense, can we please get something? Can we get something? Yeah, taking out William Jackson has definitely helped. I don't know. Again, I didn't see what William Jackson was doing wrong. I don't know what he was doing that got him benched, but our defense has literally looked better since he's been benched. So I don't know what's going on. Don't exactly know what he did to deserve to get benched. But right now, Wild Goose in the slot, Benjamin St. Juice outside looks pretty good. Even though Benjamin St. Juice did get beat by Robert uh by Robert Woods earlier, but he dropped it. But hey, we'll take it. Why is Dax Mill so slow like? I swear I can return better than that. It's actually really upsetting me. It's actually really upsetting me. But it is what it is, man. Poor play got him benched. Trey Jackson. Yeah, I mean, I just want to know specifically what play it was, though. Was it a bad coverage? Was it that missed tackle on Derrick Henry, even though other people are missing tackles as well? Uh, I just want to know literally what was the defining play that got William Jackson benched. They're too conservative. That's why they won't put anybody back there besides Milne. Literally just being conservative. Max Milne, Max, Dax Milne is the safe option, and they're sticking with him for that reason. Even though I would love an explosive guy that can flip some field positioning. Because who knows? Maybe we have more points because we start 20 yards further up the field than we, than we normally do. Been over same. I'm questioning it. Yeah, I just want to know the like exact play. Now I've been screaming Benjamin St. Juice should be one of our starting outside corners. I've been screaming that. But I just want to know what officially made them be like, all right, all right, William Jackson, we're done here. Ooh, boy, the Falcons are getting killed, boy. Po babies. Let me check the fantasy the, my my uh family pool to see who's winning. I'm pretty sure I'm not, because I feel like I got a lot wrong. I already accepted I'm not. Gonna good for us. Should have kept Ronald Darby. Bruh, again, bruh. William Jackson is one of the most athletic corners we've had in years. Um, But it's just a lot of mental stuff. You literally, if you put Kendall Fuller's brain and IQ in William Jackson's body and athleticism, literally a top five corner. It's crazy. Kendall Fuller's slow. William Jackson is, is, is slow to process mentally. If we could just combine them, we would have a top five corner. Wait, I'm winning the family pool with all of the ones I got wrong? Wow. I don't know how y'all keep letting me do this every week. Let me see if there's anything I can... All right, so if I would have picked New England over Detroit, I would literally be winning by myself, nobody with me. I picked the Jets. I forgot I picked the Jets. I could have sworn I picked Miami. I'm glad I picked the Jets, but that game is not over. The Chargers over the, oh, the Cleveland Browns is not over either. So I don't know. I'm nervous about this. But it's nice to win. It's nice to be winning the family pool again. Bench Fuller like a year ago. If they going to bench William, then bench Fuller. <laughs> All right, man. We're moving the ball. Short pass to get Antonio Gibson out in space. Yes, sir. Kevin Byard still making plays, man. Like I said, with all of the injuries to the Titans secondary, the, the man Kevin Byard is out there by himself, like carrying the secondary right now. He's trying to do everything that he can. He's trying to do everything that he can right now. I really feel sorry for Kevin Byard. I'm not gonna lie, but great play to get Antonio Gibson out in space in the passing game. We need to abuse that. Linebackers are too too slow, and corners and, and DB safeties are too are too small. Get Antonio Gibson out in space, man. I'm telling you. That should be open a lot. I mean, now that we've been killing them with the deep bomb and hitting Terry deep, got uh, Deami Brown that one time deep for the touchdown, things should be open underneath now. 
Yeah, I still don't know why we let Carter go. I still have no idea why we didn't keep Carter. A lot of people said good riddance and we don't need him. I still don't get why. I, I still don't understand why people felt like anything we had on roster was an upgrade over that over DeAndre Carter. I'm still confused by that one, but hey, it is what it is, man. We'll probably look for a special teams uh returner in the offseason because we've literally been uh we literally had tryouts. We had special teams tryouts a couple of days ago, like literally. We had like we brought in four receivers to try out. We ended up keeping none of them because I guess they didn't look good. But we brought we're they're clearly aware that Dax Milne is not explosive enough. We brought in four guys that tried out. It didn't work out. I guess nobody made the team, but it is what it is. I would love to bring somebody else back. But, man, we're moving the ball right now. John Bates, again, guess who's on the tackle? Kevin Byard. That man is everywhere right now. We probably would have scored a touchdown by, by now if it weren't for Kevin Byard, bro. One of the more underrated safeties in the NFL, man, trying to put the Tennessee Titans defense on the back, bro. Trying to put the Tennessee Titans defense on his back. And, yo, Bailey Zapp may not. Hey, hey, I'm not going to lie. Mac Jones come back. It's going to be hard to bench Bailey Zapp for him because Bailey Zapp is balling. Yeah, bro, we need Bayard right now, man. I would love to have one. Kevin, Hey, bro, Bayard with, with Cameron Curl would be crazy right now. But right now we're moving the ball. Good play calls, good throws by Carson Wentz, all of it. I knew Bailey Zapp was good. What he doing? Bro, he's balling right now for the Patriots. Like, balling. Brian Robinson, hey, man, only three-yard run, but he ate some contact to get that. I like it. Oh, yeah, and Derek Forrest. That's a lovely trio of safeties. And then wait till Percy Butler gets right. But, yeah, man, Kevin Byard with, with, with Cameron Curl and, and, and Derek Forrest is deadly. Bring Steven Sims back. Hey, man, I'm willing to try anything at this point, man. This is like upsetting it's so upsetting yeah brian robinson eats contact though y'all gotta stop playing y'all gotta stop playing with brian robinson okay this is the diami brown game this is the diami brown game he's getting activated okay chris sims is starting to look right chris sims is starting to look like he knew what he was talking about with diami brown a lot of people started doubting diami Chris Sims was was high on Diami Brown, very high on Diami Brown. Now he's balling. Let's go. Diami Brown is having himself a game. He just had to get rid of some of the jitters, had to brush off some of the nervousness, and now he's now he's balling. Diami Brown, good offensive possession, man, and great throw by Carson Wentz. You got to give Carson Wentz his credit right there. It's weird, Carson Wentz. Makes the easy throws look difficult and makes the difficult throws look easy. Because that was a great throw to Diami right there. And I don't know why it took for Jahan Dotson to get hurt for Diami Brown to finally uh, get on the scene. But hey, when Jahan Dotson comes back, that's just another receiver that we can have that we have that can make plays. Right now, hey man, Scott Turner calling up some good plays. Carson Wentz throwing some good balls. And like I said, man, this, this Titans D-line is really good. And Jeffrey Simmons is a really good player. But this offensive line naturally looks like they're playing better because we're not going against the Eagles and Cowboys D-lines who have some of the best D-lines in football. Again, I didn't say the Tennessee Titans D-line was easy. I didn't say they were sweet, but they're not the Eagles or the or the, or the um, Cowboys, especially with Micah Parsons and, 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 Dex, and, and, and Buddy Dexter Lawrence on the other side, man. Thank goodness. Thank goodness, man. This, this offense, and, and we threw that. We snapped the ball and threw it immediately. That was not a long developing play. That took a lot of chemistry. That took a lot of practice. That was a really good throw from Carson Wentz. But yes, sir, man, Diami Brown is doing his thing, man. We got to start to take back what we were saying about him in the preseason. Got to start taking it back a little bit. Wentz sucks, but it's good for a great few passes a game. But Lucas is doing work. Sadiq Charles is doing work. Yeah, Cornelius Lucas, Sadiq Charles, Charles Leno, everybody's, everybody's blocking well. But we're also getting the ball out of our hand quicker, too, which is deliberate, it seems like, by Scott Turner. So I'm not mad at that. Yeah, Scott, bro, it's just so weird. I just admitted I was wrong. Now, oh, wait, wait, wait. Don't, don't go that far. We need to see him do this over the stretch of a season. 
but he's balling out today. I got to give him credit. He's balling out today, and this is one of those games that's going to give him the type of confidence that he needs to continue balling out. But don't take it back yet. We got to see him be a little bit more consistent. Y'all, yeah, so far. Yeah, same here, Rich. I'm right, I'm right with you. So far. So far right now. But that man is balling. That man, Deami Brown, is balling. Carson Wentz, again, makes the easy throws look hard, make the hard look throws look easy. Uh, it's just, it's the Carson Wentz experience. We're giving him a little bit more time with the O-line. And, and, and then at the same time, we're getting the ball out of his hand a little bit quicker, and it's working out. Jahan, take your time with that hammy young fella. Yeah, don't rush back, man. Dami Brown's holding the fort, holding, holding down the fort. Curtis Samuel in the first quarter, Terry McLaurin in the second, and early in the third, and now Deami Brown, second and third. Deami Brown delivering and showing why he's getting more snaps than Cam Sims. I mean, Deami Brown was doing this all throughout practice during training camp, all training camp. I don't know where it went in the preseason, but it's finally starting to show in the regular season. And I prefer for him to play well in the regular season than in the preseason easily. Oh, and then here we go. And then here we go. My boy Chad Grove with the donation, man. I really appreciate that, man. Appreciate that big time. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the donation. But now the Tennessee Titans, I don't know what that was. Bobby McCain. I mean, I can't wait for Percy Butler to get better because Bobby McCain, man, heart attack after heart attack, bro. We can't just give him the points right back, man. Don't give him the points right back. Come on now. And again, man, we have 300 people in the stream. If you haven't liked up the stream, please like the stream. It's free for y'all. means the world to me. So if y'all can like up the stream, I'd really appreciate it. And that, and that Ryan Tannehill throw, man. There was, they almost got to him. It was almost a sack. They were like a step away. They were like a step away. That sucks, man. They were right there. They were literally right there. God dang, Bobby McCain. I can't wait for Percy Butler to catch up mentally because we need his athleticism right now. Bobby McCain, I don't know what happened there. I don't know how you got beat that bad on an accidental triple move, but that was not good. Come on, Bobby McCain. We need better than that. Come on, defense. Hold them, man. These are the explosive plays I've been talking about. Our defense will play well for three quarters, three and a half quarters. But those two two or three explosive plays they allow, it, it's, it just it, it ruins everything. It makes it look like our defense didn't play well. Man, that man Chig is a little different. Hand out of bounds. Dylan Radunes with a false start. And I like Dylan Radunes coming out of the draft a lot. I liked him a lot coming out of the draft. I was really sad when the Titans got him. I really wanted him. But false start, man. Dang, he folded by having his hand out of bounds, though. But, hey, false start on Dylan Radunes. Come on, defense. We need some plays made. We need some plays made. Hold him to three or get a turnover. A turnover would be lovely. The D-line has been really good. I mean, even some plays, they've been like a step away. Generally, they've been really good today. I'm not mad at the D-line at all. I'm not mad at the D-line at all. They've been playing really well. Uh-oh, third and short. Anybody start Deami Brown in their fantasy teams? Anybody? Anybody just so happened to just just so happened to start Deami Brown? Did anybody just so happen to start Deami Brown? Anybody? Anybody? Talk to me. Anybody just anybody for any reason start Deami Brown in your fantasy team today? Just because you just had a premonition? Anybody even had? Yeah, I, I don't even think he's owned in leagues. I don't even think Deami Brown is owned in any leagues. We got to be better, bro. I don't know what's going on defense, but we got to hold him. Got to hold him. He's on waivers in every, bro, literally every league. Every league. Hey, the Titans are trying to sell, man. Can we get right? Can we get right? The Titans are literally selling. Defense, can we please get right? Titans looking like us right now. Yeah, the team that gets to the red zone and starts selling. 
Come on, deep. Come on, defense. Come on. Uh, Saint, uh, Chris Olave was having a really good game for the Saints, but he's ruled out with a concussion just to let y'all know. But he was having a really good game before that. Man, come on, defense. We, oh, man. Why do we allow that to be? Why did that look so easy for them? Imagine starting Terry and Curtis Samuel. He had De'Ami Brown on the bench. Yeah, Titans literally are 100% in the red zone. They're the best red zone offense in the NFL. So I'm not surprised by what's going on, but you would just hope your defense can step up and be that first team that, that learns how to stop them. But yeah, the Titans are literally number one in the red zone. I think they're 100% in the red zone, and the team that's in second place is like 40-something percent. Like they've been, hey man. They, but let's let's be that first team to stop them. Let's be that first team to stop them, man. Come on. Hold hold them to a field goal. Hold them to a field goal. Be strong. Be strong. It's gonna take strength. Derrick Henry's a big guy. It's gonna take a lot of strength, man. Gonna take a lot of strength. Gonna take a lot of strength, y'all. Can't stop him in the end zone. It's it's a cheat code. It's literally a cheat code. Like honestly, literally a cheat code. But again, I appreciate everybody that's in the stream. Please like the stream if you haven't. If you haven't liked the stream yet, please like it. It's free for y'all and it means the world to me. So make sure you like the stream. Even if you want to leave a dislike, just at least click something. Any RP anyone that tries to block them. Yeah, man. I mean, the, the Titans are literally the best red zone offense in the NFL by far. Literally by far. They're 100%. Everybody else is 40-something percent and lower. Like, it's just not. You just can't allow them to get there. You literally just can't allow Derrick Henry to get to the red zone because once they do, it's ugly. Why can't both sides of the team ever be good at the same time? I don't know, man. It's really annoying, actually. That feels like the commander's curse. Like, it's just always back and forth. I can't wait to see what Chris Sims says about De'Ami Brown, though, this week. I'm definitely going to tune in to his podcast. Because he, um, Chris Sims does a thing where he, like, evaluates every NFL game. And he predicts every NFL game as well. And, like, and I'm pretty sure he's going to say something about De'Ami Brown. Because he's been catching heat about his De'Ami Brown being a top five receiver in that class that he came out of type of opinion. And he was like, man, I don't know. They, the, the commanders just aren't using him. I still believe in him, but he just hasn't been really getting used like that. And then now that he's getting used, he's making plays. So I know Chris Sims definitely going to talk about De'Ami Brown. Definitely excited to hear it. Yeah, Derrick Henry is just like, I mean, how do you stop him in the red zone? Honestly, what does Jack DeRio tell his team to do? Like, literally, honestly, what, is, what do we tell the team to do? You got to stay relatively balanced. You can't just allow them to throw the ball easily just to a wide open player. But at the same time, you do kind of got to sell out to stop Derrick Henry up the middle. Yeah, the, the, again, the Titans are the best red zone offense in the NFL by far. It's not even close. We just got to stop them from getting there. Once they get there, it's ugly. But we just got to stop them from getting there, honestly. And, and really just outside of a really bad Bobby McCain big play, man, our defense has generally been playing pretty well. It sucks that, like, we've allowed 21 points, but it's big plays. We'll play really well for two, three straight drives and then just give up an 80-yard bomb. It's just like, come on now. A 60-yard bomb, technically. My boy Carl Mitchell with the donation, man. Appreciate that as always. Always pulling up to the stream and donating, man. That's huge, man. I really, really appreciate it. Always pulling up, man. Man, Kevin Byard is literally carrying the Titans defense right now. Very underrated safety, man. Never gets the credit he deserves. Him and Jeffrey Simmons are the best defensive players on that team. And Jeffrey Simmons has made a couple of plays, but it's been, it's been more Kevin Byard than anybody right now. It's definitely more Kevin Byard than anybody right now. He is literally carrying that team. Come on, offense. We need something out of this, man. Yeah, Kevin Byard. Kevin Byard is not playing with us, man. 
Kevin Byer. Kevin Byer was is not getting is not playing with us right now. Wait, they call holding on us? Wait, Jonathan Williams is out. Just to let y'all know, Jonathan Williams is out with a knee injury. So it's literally just Antonio Gibson, J.D. McKissick, and Brian Robinson. Just to give y'all an update, Jonathan Williams is out of, for the rest of the game. Yeah, that was a great play by Carson Wentz, but it, it was a hold. They got called back, so. Andrew Norwell, man. We fixed the problem with Trey Turner by replacing him with Sadiq Charles. Samuel Cosme got hurt, and Cornelius Lucas is playing better than Cosme at right tackle. Nick, we're still struggling with the center a little bit with Nick Martin. But Andrew Norwell, man, what's going on with left guard? What are we going to do for left guard? Chris Paul? But again, just to update y'all, Jonathan Williams is out with an injury. Is William Jackson still benched? How's that going? Here comes a run on second and 18. Let me see. Let me change my title to change that. Change Ryan Robinson. Let me see. All right. Titans suck in the fourth, by the way. Yeah, the Titans haven't scored a second half point the past two games, and we just allowed them to. I forgot about that. The Titans literally haven't scored a single point in the second half of an NFL game in the past two weeks until this game. This is the third week, technically. Well, we just allowed them to score just now, so they finally broke that curse. And, of course, what better team to do it against than the Commanders? When in doubt, if you're in a slump, the commanders will get you out of that slump. Man, my boy Chauncey Davis with the donation. Appreciate that. North Carolina enjoying the show. What's good, man? I mean, you're closer to me than the commanders are. So, I'll, hey, shouts out to a fellow person from the country. What's good? Chauncey Davis was good. Was good. Appreciate the donation. I'm down here in Atlanta rooting for these commanders, man. What's condition on Wes Schweitzer? He's out for a minimum of four weeks, which was like, what, a week or two ago? So, I think we don't have them for at least another two, three weeks. I don't know exactly, though. But we have probably another two, three weeks until Wes Weiss is eligible to come back. He was dealing with a concussion injury, and I guess it was so bad they, they put him on IR, temporary IR. Appreciate the donation again, Chauncey Davis. Appreciate that big time. Dang, man. Chris Olave was having a really good game. There's a lot of injuries right now, especially concussion injuries. Because Pat Fearmuff just got a concussion. He's out for the game. Same thing with Chris Olave, too. I hope everybody feels better, man. I don't wish injuries on anybody. Look at the Falcons trying to make a game out of this. Well, 7-21 doesn't look as bad as 21-0. All right, offense, man. Little five-yard, little short throw to Terry McLaurin, man. That's not good. Up oh, and Rashad Penny just got carted off. What are you going on? It's a really bad injury day for people right now. Teddy Bridgewater got hurt. He's out. Just got turned out with the famous screen pass. Yeah, bro. You know. Second and long. Third and long. Got turned to try to throw a screen in there at all costs. <gasps> all costs. Riverboat Ron. Regret it, Ron. Up and then Carson went sacked. All right. Well. Offense was terrible right there. Andrew Norwell was terrible this drive. Holding penalty and then got ran over for the sack. Come on now, Andrew Norwell. Definitely the biggest weakness on our offensive line right now. Replacing Brandon Sheriff and Eric Flowers with Trey Turner and Andrew Norwell has not worked out at all. Literally not good. I don't know why Eric Flowers is still a free agent and why we haven't went to, um, gone to go get him. Um, but can we please go get him as soon as possible? The Commanders are 0 of 7 on third downs, just to let y'all know. The Commanders are 0 for 7 on third downs today. This is terrible. Literally terrible. 
I don't know what we expect our defense to do when our offense is doing this. No, we're, no, we're, bro, I just don't understand. No, we can't. Rico, Ron's playing. <laughs> Ron's gonna die with Andrew Noel. Yeah, bro, it's bad, bro. It's like we sign guys and then we force them to be good. Even when they're not good. Even when we have a better replacement out there in free agency or even currently on the team as a backup. Take these old Panthers out, Chris Paul. I think Chris Paul is inactive, but I would love to go ahead and give him a try because Andrew Norwell clearly isn't it. At first, Trey Turner was the worst guard was definitely the um the guard that was playing worse than uh between the two trey turner was the worst one but then now that trey turner's gone and sadiq charles is playing well now we're putting the microscope on to uh, andrew norwell and he's getting beat he said two two and 18 down by oh uh, second and 18 down by touchdown let's throw a five yard pass <laughs> Yeah, Norwell is definitely a downgrade to Eric Flowers or Brandon Sheriff, whichever one you want to say, either of them. Again, Eric Flowers is still available in free agency. Why did we not bring him back? Why did we not re-sign DeAndre Carter and let him go to the Chargers? It's a lot of questions for this uh, for this uh, that I need answered from this uh, um this front office. But yeah, man, we have a lot of people in the stream. I'd appreciate it if you haven't liked the stream yet. Please like the stream. I'd really appreciate it. Means the world to me free for y'all though it's free for y'all to like the video appreciate it if y'all can leave a like on the video again it means the world 13 carries for 30 rushing yards for the commanders after three quarters oh yeah shouts out to jamal let maul tell it for that stat man that's terrible that is terrible we are going into the fourth quarter with 30 rushing yards Offensive line can barely protect Carson Wentz today, and they definitely can't open up run lanes. I feel sorry for Brian Robinson. He's trying, but there's no run lanes from the run through. If I'm Eric Flowers, I wouldn't come back. Slick. What's good, Chauncey Davis? Appreciate the donation again, man. Thank you. Rico, it's Sam Howell time for real. I mean, honestly, this game, Carson Wentz hasn't necessarily been great. But it's the offensive line more than anything else, in my opinion. But like I said, I don't want to, if we're going to move on from Carson Wentz, I want to throw Sam Howell out there before the end of the season for at least a few games, just in case if we want to draft one of these quarterbacks that's in this upcoming draft. It's supposedly a really good draft for quarterbacks. Again, I haven't really watched the guys like that, so I couldn't tell you myself. But, um, but yeah, I want to, if we're not, if we're not going to, Look at we're not if Carson Wentz is not our starting quarterback next season, not our starting quarterback for the future. You might as well throw Sam Howell out the, out there for a few games because you don't want Sam Howell to stop you from taking a C.J. Stroud or a Bryce Young if you can. Eric Flowers is available for everybody, but he's literally just dangling out there. What's good, Troy? I'm doing better, man. I'm doing better now. Still got a stuffy nose, but overall, I'm way better. We have had 20 QBs playing with crappy O-line. Get it? I mean, right now, to me, it's more so Andrew Norwell selling than anything else. Sam Miles the Q is the QB. He was the best QB in the draft. Can't believe we lost this game. Wait, what happened to make everybody give up like that? We still got 13 minutes left. What happened? It's fourth and two. Why are you saying if it saying if he's he's not he is definitely not. <laughs> well, I'm just saying from the point of view of the commanders coaching staff. What's new to commanders? Suck. So, Wentz is great throwing ten yards of tight ends or occasionally deep. Yeah, that's basically about it. Titans have not scored anything in the fourth quarter. Let's keep it that way. It would be nice. I mean, we stopped them on third down. Are they kicking it? Oh, uh, never mind. They got it. They went for it and got it. I mean, you know how hard it is to stop Derrick Henry, man, to be honest. But, yeah, we still got to be better. There's no excuses, but Derrick Henry is different. When we have no weapons, we have a good old line. Then we get weapons and terrible old line. Yep, that, hey, that's literally what happened. We had a really good old line for several years, but no weapons, nobody to throw it to. As soon as we get a bunch of guys to throw it to, no O-line. Why is Derrick Henry so good at football? Bruh, Alabama, bro. 
You know how the South does, man. These freaks of nature coming out of the South, man. I just don't, bro. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Nothing we can do right there, man. They ran it right through. Was that the B gap they ran it through? Or, or right outside the tackle out of the way? We just weren't ready. On that on that fourth down conversion. Oh, we just they just straight up ran it outside. We tried to stuff the middle. They ran it slightly outside and it worked. Alright, third and six, man. Defense get off the field. Get off the field, defense. They'll probably kick a field goal here if we stop them, to be completely honest. They probably won't go for fourth down here. That one drive that Montez had Tannehill wrapped up and he flipped it is what lost the game. That was a crazy play, though. That's crazy because they ended up scoring a touchdown on that drive, didn't it? That man, Jamin Davis, good job faking the blitz and going out in coverage. Great job by Jamin Davis. Definitely had Ryan Tannehill a little lost right there. Javon Davis out here doing his thing, man. Do you count North Carolina as a South? Yeah, North Carolina is a South. North Carolina, we could debate about some parts of Virginia, I guess, but North Carolina is a South. Yes, sir. Jay Smith Williams outside of field goal range. Yes, sir. I've been talking about getting FA bottom more snaps, but Jay Smith Williams came and stepped up. Jay Smith Williams really stepped up. We needed that outside of field goal range. Come on, offense. Come on, offense. Come on, offense. Let's get right. Yes, sir, man. Good play by Jay Smith Williams. Great play. Yes, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you, man. We needed that again. I've been screaming FL Bada needs to get more playing time, but Jay Smith Williams, we really needed that. I think that was on a stunt, too. I think that was a stunt, and that was just a really bad play by Ryan Tannehill running further and further back on that. All right, no penalties. No penalties, team. Can we just get the ball back, and offense, can we go score? It was on. Yeah, it was on a stunt, right? That was a stunt. Yep. Our stunts have been working really well, and I feel like we should stunt this offensive line a lot because... Because they have a lot of injuries to the O line. It's a back they have backups all across their O line. Like at least three or four backups in. Just kind of like us. Kind of like how we have a bunch of injured offensive linemen. They do too. They do as well. So we just need to um we just need to do a lot of stunts and confuse them. They don't have any chemistry. They don't know how to pass defensive linemen off to the other offensive linemen and stuff like that. They don't have chemistry. They don't have communication. So we need to definitely go at these guys. We need to blitz. We need to Stunt all of that. Get creative, Jack DeRio. Get Ryan Tannehill out of his element, man. Keep hitting him. I will take it, though, because Carson Wentz has been taking us out of field goal range with dumb decisions, so it's about time another team's quarterback did it for us. Thank goodness. Being spoiled by my Chiefs defense is your number one defending the run pass defense, letting teams keep up, so that lopsided thing strikes again. <laughs> Man, thank goodness Tannehill shaving points or something on that drop back. Yeah, that looked like really bad. That was we were used, we were mad at Carson Wentz last week for that uh terrible intentional grounding. That Ryan Tannehill play right there was even worse. I don't know why he thought he would get out of that situation. Yeah, I would love another another 75 yarder, 80 yarder. Let's do it, man. Come on, let's get it. Let's get one of them. Well, we need a 90 yarder because we're on the 10-yard line, and who knows what our red zone offense is gonna do. So I would love to just go ahead and get this deep bomb off right now. Look at Diami again. I ain't going to lie. Look at Diami again. Put Rico at punt, uh, returner. I wish. I, I wish. I couldn't do that, though. I could not do that. I'm not that athletic. I'm more strong than fast, so I pretty much basically be like Dax Milne out there. I, I, I'm not, I've i never been fast. I've always been strong. Even as small as I am, I've always been like a defensive lineman. I've always been skinny, but I've just always, for some reason, I've always been stronger than I should be and slower than I should be. 
Bro, in my I'm in my 50s. I had 35 years of sad Sundays. This Commanders team is looking actually pretty good to me. Oh, you talking about back when the ch I mean Priest Holmes days though. Priest Holmes days was really fun. Then you had Jamal Charles. Those days were really fun. Y'all had some days. Y'all had some good times even before Pat Mahomes. But I feel it though. Like before that, yeah, it was a little ugly. I'm not gonna lie. But at least you're good now. We're trying to get we trying to get like y'all, honestly. I'm trying to get like you, my boy. Trying to get like the Chiefs, please. And yeah, the Jets, the Jets are balling out, thank goodness. That's good for my fantasy team. Bro, I don't know why I picked Detroit. Especially with all the injuries they had. I don't know why I picked them to win. That's hurting my fantasy, my uh, family pool. Oh, uh, Christian Fulton just got hurt. Oh, no, that's bad. They're already down bad with injuries throughout their entire team. Just like us. Like I said, the Titans are just as hurt as us, bro. We're two of the most hurt teams in the NFL right now. And them losing Christian Fulton only makes it worse, man. Again, get well soon. I don't wish injuries on anybody, so. But, yeah, man, I see a lot of people pulling up. Again, if you haven't liked the stream yet, please like the stream. I really need it. It means the world to me, and it's free for y'all, so I really appreciate it if you like the stream. And, yeah, Brian Robinson, man, out here running – out here running in a way that ends up getting people hurt on the other team. He's not Derrick Henry, but he's like a little baby Derrick Henry. Watch when watch when Brian Robinson gets right and this offensive line learns how to block better. Watch when the, watch, watch when Brian Robinson gets. I'm not saying he's gonna be Derrick Henry because Derrick Henry's one of a kind. Um, but but I think Brian Robinson can be like a little baby nerf version of Derrick Henry. I really do. I mean Alabama right there, man. Appreciate that, Ivan. Appreciate that, Deez. Yes, sir. Thank y'all for the likes, man. Again, if you haven't liked the stream, I really appreciate it, man. It means the world to me. Oh, uh, yeah. Christian. Yeah. Christian Fulton looks like he's pretty hurt. He's a smaller, faster Derrick Henry. Man, I, I just, man, I can't wait for Brian Robinson to get right. He's still not 100%. He's just good enough to play today. But Brian Robinson isn't 100% out there. So can't wait for him to get to 100%. I can't wait for the offensive line to learn how to block for him. And, hey, man, Christian Fulton, get well soon, man. I hope I hope it's not too bad. Again, I don't wish injuries on anybody, even the opponent, man. Hey, man, who do you think will win the game between the Bengals and Titans? I, uh, You mean the Bengals and the Ravens, or are you talking about another week? Because if you're talking about I would take, I think, the Bengals, but, I mean, the Bengals have been selling this year. Brian Robinson will gain some speed and confidence over a few weeks. That's what I'm saying, man. I think I think Brian Robinson's going to end up being a really good running back. He's definitely further ahead than I thought he would be at this point. But, again, he's not 100%. Okay, you did mean the Ravens? Okay, I was about to say. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I picked the Ravens. Me personally, especially since the Ravens are home, I believe. Are the Ravens home? Yeah, the Ravens are home. I picked the Ravens. Yeah, I definitely picked the Ravens. Even though the Ravens have been selling. The Ravens have been selling. They have been winning. I think they've only not had the lead for, what, a minute so far this season, and they have two losses or something like that. They've been winning literally all season outside of, like, one minute. And have two L's because they keep losing the game at the last second. Oh, we got rough in the passer. I'll take it. Wait, Cam Sims was targeted on that play, just to let y'all know. Cam Sims was targeted on that rough in the passer. Even though it was a severe overthrow, but you know. We'll take it. We'll t we'll take the pass interference. We'll take it. I mean the uh, rough in the passer, my fault. We'll take the rough in the passer. Yeah, I don't know how you overthrow somebody six foot five. That's a good point. I don't know how you do that, but he did it. Especially open. He was open. Andrew Norwell, false start. Yeah, it's about that time, man. Eric Flowers needs to be on the phone right now. Right now. Eric Flowers needs to be. We need to be calling him right now. Go ahead. Pack your bags. Get everything together. We need we need Eric Flowers back. Go ahead and get him on a flight wherever he is. If he's not in the DMV, go ahead and fly him out to the DMV. Let him know we want him to sign tonight. Pin the paper tonight. I'm sick of it. As you know, well, I'm sick of it. I was hoping you and Trey Turner could work out, but it's not. Yeah, if I, I like I said, if Eric if I'm Eric Flowers, I'm not coming back. Me personally, if I'm Eric Flowers, I'm not coming back. You're not about to throw me into the fire after you release me for no reason. But please, man, offer that man the bag if you got to. 
Andrew Norwell is selling. Literally, this whole past two, three drives has been straight up Andrew Norwell. Yeah, we literally disrespected Eric Flowers. What I'm saying, if I'm Eric Flowers, I'm not coming back. But, man, Ron Rivera, please go get that man the bag. But now, Andrew Norwell is literally selling right now. Like, literally selling. Andrew Norwell is killing us right now, man. Andrew or Norwell is killing us. But, hey, man, good play to J.D. McKissick. All right? It's 39. That's manageable. If he's not coming back, where are you going? I don't know, honestly, but maybe he's trying to prove a point. I, I just refuse to believe that we haven't called Eric Flowers at this point. Hey, James Cook got his first NFL touchdown. Yes, sir. My boy James Cook got his first NFL touchdown. I need you to go out there and be better than Dalvin Cook. Even though I don't think you are. I'm not going to lie. I don't think James Cook is better than Dalvin Cook. But I want him to be so bad. I want him to be the better cook, brother, bro. That's that's that Georgia. My boy Nick Chubb already has at least two touchdowns today. Georgia running backs putting on today. As soon as Georgia in real life looks like RBU again and we finally start running the ball, we finally ran the ball against Auburn for the first time this year. Now Georgia running backs to the NFL doing some things. So we did a check down on third and nine. So we threw a check down on third and nine. That's what we like. So you have Terry McLaurin one-on-one -on -one with backup Titans corners. Because they have all of these injuries. And that's the play we chose. Yeah, I don't get it. I personally don't get what we're trying to do here. Do you just believe our defense can stop them? Are you that confident in our defense that that's the play you chose to go with? Oh, Lord. I, I picked the Chargers to win, and the Browns are moving down the field. Oh, Lord. Bruh, Chargers, I need your defense to bail me out right now. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. In New Orleans, I'm going to need you to hold on to win. I'm going to need you to hold on to win. In Houston, how dare you? How dare you? Chill out. I'm struggling in this family pool right now, bruh. It's ugly. It's real ugly. Well, at least the Titans are getting false starts as well. At least the Titans are getting false starts as well. Good game. Hate this team. <laughs> it's not over, man. Defense can stop them. We can get the ball back with decent field position, and we can come down the field and score. Bruh, Tyler Lockett, chill out, bruh. Chill out, bruh. I'm trying to win this family pool, and you're tripping. Why is Tyler Lockett like this? Still. Now, Geno Smith is balling like literally playing like a top 15 quarterback this year i'm like i said i'm about to go look at some seahawks games from the all 22 and see what is going on because this is ridiculous you can't protect what is how gonna do but run for his life that's a good point he said he top five that man geno smith top five now nah, he's literally balling though like geno smith is actually balling i hate to say it but he's literally balling all right, second and long, man. Come on, defense. Let's get off the field. What are we What are we on defense right now? All right, third and six. Third and six. Right now, the Titans are four for 13. We're zero for eight on third down, y'all. They're four for 13, which is good for our defense, but we're zero for eight. That's terrible for our offense. That's, that's literally why we're losing. You're zero for eight on third down on offense. And you're still only down four. That's literally why you're losing. That's it right there. That's the exact thing right there. That's what we can point to. That's terrible. That's absolutely terrible offense. I can't believe that we're that bad right now. Because we running check downs on third and long, bro. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. Third and nine check down. Get off the field, man. Get off the field, defense. Deami Brown is hurt. Wait, when that happened? Thank goodness Robert Woods is wide open. <laughs> Hokum lit him up. All right, good play, Cole Hokum. Let's go. Good play. Good play. All right, offense. 
Come on, offense. Let's get it. Now, Geno Smith is, like, literally balling. I, it's crazy. I know I, I keep talking about it, but, like, it's wild. I'm, like, shocked. I didn't even like Geno Smith coming out of college like a lot of people did. But I'm happy to see him balling. I love scrambling quarterbacks. I wish we had one. So it is what it is, man. I'm not going to hate on other teams for having them, even though we don't. I'm rooting for all the scrambling quarterbacks because I really want one. Wait, what did Dax Milne do? I didn't see it yet. Wait, what did Dax Milne do? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's y'all boy, man. Dax Milne is bad. Bad. Now look at this. Now look at this field position we start with. Yeah, why? what is this Dax Milne thing, though, for real, though? Can we please stop this? Can we please find somebody? There's somebody out there. Y'all see who the Cowboys got? I can't remember his name, but they got him out of nowhere. That man is a, a touchdown return waiting to happen any play. And we just sitting here with Dax Milne. I don't know what's wrong with Dax Milne. I, I still don't understand why we don't have DeAndre Carter, but it is what it is, man. We got what we got. Let's keep it pushing, man. Let's, but we got to replace Dax Milne, bro. We got to. Man, Lions, is it really that hard? Look at, look at Drake London. I like seeing Drake London play well because a lot of people was hating on him and talking about how he can't separate. Granted, he's not the best, you know, separating receiver, but I've been rooting for I'm rooting for him to play well. Well, the Falcons, I don't even know who number 17 is, but it would be, oh, that's Zacchaeus. It would be nice if our number 17 got a touchdown, but at least that was a good, for, again, good play on first down to get Antonio Gibson out in space. Then we ran it with them on second down. Didn't get anything from it. Oh, no. We threw it. Threw it. Didn't get anything. Look at the Falcons. Don't call it a comeback, Falcons. Don't call it a comeback. All right. Come on. What are we doing on third and short? Let me know. What are we doing? Yeah, Dax Milne got to go, though. You can thank this sorry staff for letting Carter walk. Yes, yeah, we almost let JD McKissick go. We had to, we had to get McKissick back on a prayer. Like I don't know how we almost let McKissick go. I just don't know how we even allowed that. And then now, I mean, we let DeAndre Carter go. I just hate it. Let Eric Flowers go. Now we got Andrew Norwell out here getting beat to death. I don't know what's going on with Andrew Norwell right now, man. Somebody pray for that man. Wait, did he catch it? Did he catch that? Do y'all think he caught that? Honestly, like in y'all honest opinion, you think he caught that? Did he catch that? He didn't catch it? Wow, man. Dang, bro. Why can we not get one yard, though? Like, are we that bad? Why can't we find a way to get one yard? Why can't we just get one yard, like, easily? Like, most people can just get one yard and they make it look easy. Why can't we? Why can't we just get one yard like most NFL teams can? Mo most professional football teams can. Yeah, close. I mean, I look like I can see where you can say that's a catch. Like if you if it was called a catch on the field, I would have probably just kept I, I would probably keep it as a catch, honestly. I think it can go either way. I can't be mad if it's either way. I didn't really see a bobble, in my opinion. I think it, I, I, I could see it being a catch. I think it's just one of those things where if it was called a catch on the field, they would have let it stand. 
So it, I hate, I kind of hate the refs for doing that to us. They could have just called catch on the field and, you know, left it. Why can't Wentz complete simple throws? Yeah, I mean, like I said, he makes the easy throws look difficult. It makes the difficult throws look easy. It sucks. It, it really sucks. But why can't, why are we incapable of getting one yard? Why does one yard, why does one yard look so difficult for us? But all right, we're going for it. We're going for it. Going for it on fourth down. I agree, Rich. That should have been a catch on the field. I, I He literally, like, kind of had it. That should have been a catch on the field. Bro, whatever we do, go to the right side. Go to Sadiq Charles and Cornelius Lucas side and avoid Andrew Norwell. Whatever we do, just do that. Do that. Yes, sir. That's what Brian Robinson is here for. That's what Brian Robinson is here for. That's what he's here for. Come on, offense. We need a touchdown. We do not. We can't do a field goal. We need a touchdown. We need a touchdown. Come on now. That's what Brian Robinson is literally here for. Granted, he doesn't have a great statistical game, but he's been running. He's been running hard. He's been running hard. The offensive line just hasn't been giving him the lanes that he needs. Now, granted, I'm going to go probably look at some uh, film session, some all 22 to see if there was some holes that he missed. But my boy Brian Robinson's running hard, man. Wait, why does it say Jahan Dotson recovered a fumble on the game thing? What just happened? Golly, man, what is going on with our offense, bro? What is going on with our offense currently, bro? Man, Nick Martin, Nick Martin and Andrew Norwell, bro. What's going on, bro? John Dawson showing up, not even in the game, bro. We need him. We need him. We need him. Hey, man, first down, though, right? First down. Yeah, I don't know. That thing said Jahan Dotson fumble recovered by Jahan Dotson and Jahan Dotson. <laughs> Man, these low snaps are killing us, though. I don't know what's going on. It's really upsetting me. Really upsetting. Let's get Brian Robinson activated, though. Get these first downs. Let's serve. All right, we're moving the ball. This is a decent offensive drive right here. Cam Sims. Cam Sims is, is being used. He's being utilized, and it's not November. No, Cam Sims. It looks like, the, I'm not going to lie, the Titans defense looks tired. We have momentum. We can go down. This is probably the final drive of the game. We can go out here and get this touchdown. This is literally the game right here, y'all. This is the game right here. Stretch the field, take a shot. Where is Terry? I, bro, I, I, he must be getting double teamed because if we're not targeting Terry, if it's one-on-one, -on -one, throw it up to him. If we're not targeting Terry, he must be getting double team. I'm assuming. And where is Curtis Samuel? I haven't heard Curtis Samuel's name since the first quarter. Don't tell me it's a pick this time I'm watching the game. Hey, Street, can you call the plays if you take the snap? Terry catches it for a touchdown, etc. because it's late. All right, I'm a little behind, too, so I'm trying to keep up. Yeah, Jahan Dawson would be huge right now, Ivory. Huge. He was huge for that fumble that we just had. Clearly, according to ESPN. But, yeah, I'm going to try to call out the plays for y'all. But, again, like, my stream is two plays behind. I'm going straight off the game cast and off the chat, to be completely honest. <laughs> okay, so Curtis Samuel got the first down. Good, good, good. I didn't even get a chance to see it because I'm going back and forth between the chat and the, what's it called, it, in the game cast on the screen. But, yeah, man, we almost have 400 people in the stream, man. Make sure you like up the stream if you haven't yet. Haven't yet. I really appreciate it. I apologize for the hiccups. I hate being a grown man with hiccups, but it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, we're down to... It's not even really our third string center because we signed him off the street. Technically, he's our fourth fourth center, but he's the third one to start because Tyler Larson's been hurt up until this week. <laughs> Tyler Larson's technically our second string center, but he'll be our fourth starting center if he starts next week, which is just crazy. Like, our offensive line is all over the place. Chat watching two V's chug a beer. <laughs> I do have some apple juice right here. Same color, but different drink. That's what I'm saying, bruh. John Dotson not even in the game is still making plays. 
John Dotson not playing with y'all. Man, John Dotson out here recovering fumbles and he not even there. Stop playing with him. ESPN know what's up. Right, man. Our offense is moving, man. This two minute warning kind of sucks because it's allowing the Titans to catch their breath. We were moving the ball because their their defense was tired. Hopefully, we can keep moving even without the even with the defense tired. But we'll see. We'll see if the defense recovers and we can keep moving even after they get their breath. But we were definitely. I, I'm really sad that the two minute warning is lasting this long because I want that defense as tired as possible. Uh, let's get it, man. Okay. Five-yard play on first down, second and five in the Tennessee Territory, 47-yard line. Let's get it, man. Let's get it, man. Come on now. Let's get it. Let's get it, man. Come on. Let's go offense. This is it. It's probably the final drive of the game. Okay, Carson went scrambling. He said this is too stressful. <laughs> Carson Wentz is scrambling. He's still slow. He's still really slow. But he's scrambling, man. Let's go. Let's go. We needed that. We need those. Because first of all, it's going to keep their defense more honest. If they're worried about Carson Wentz scrambling, that's going to, you know, take away some, some, some guys on the back end. Some of these receivers should be a little bit more open if Carson Wentz is scrambling. Let's go. Come on, man. This should be the final drive. A minute 30. Howell would have scored a touchdown there. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Come on, this is the game. This is literally the game right here, man. This is the game right here. Nick Martin, illegal use of hands. Well, it's the center and the left guard. Ever since we replaced Trey Turner with Sadiq Charles and Cornelius Lucas is in for Sam Howell because Sam Howell's injured. We've been playing better on the right side. And Charles Leno's always holding it down on his side for the most part. But now we have a left guard and a center problem. Now we have a left guard and a center problem. And, man, yeah, we literally can't afford penalties right now. Come on now. We cannot afford penalties right now. These hurt. These hurt. These hurt right now, man. It didn't look like hands to the face in the replay like that, though. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, nice little pickup of some yards. Second and ten, manageable. Manageable, okay, manageable. All right, so we're second and ten on the Tennessee 39 yard line. Got it back. Shouldn't have to get it back, but it is what it is. It's cool. It's cool. Let's go. A minute, three seconds left. Come on now. Let's go. This is the final drive of the game. We need those touchdowns. Rick and the Browns going to get a game when it field goal. Oh, I'm sick. But I'm too, I'm too focused on this game right now to care. If they win, they win. It is what it is. But come on, man. This is the last. Hey, bro. Final drive of the game. This is the game. Come on, offense. Good throw to uh, John Bates on that previous uh, play, though. Yes, sir. Okay, Terry. Yes, sir. Getting Terry involved. Gate A, man. We paid him. Let him work. You paid the man, use him. How about that? You paid the man, let's use him. All right, so that's first and 10 on the Tennessee 29-yard line. One minute left. We could, This could literally be game right here. Tennessee has all of their timeouts. They have three timeouts, but this could be game right here. This could be game. Let's get it, man. Come on now. Let's go. Tennessee 29-yard line, we can win this game on this drive right here. Earn, earn a little bit of respect from the league, man. Terry McLaurin, first of all, that play should not have been a first down. Like, Terry is different. Terry is literally different. That was crazy. That was, te like, Terry, like, made some plays. Up, uh, False start on a crazy play right there. I don't know what that was. But, uh, hey, we'll take the false start over all of the rest of what happened. And now even, even Cornelius Lucas is messing up now. Yeah, Terry literally got all those yards himself. That was a crazy play. Um, but, yeah, these penalties are hurting us right now. Now we have the ball on Tennessee's 34-yard line, 53 seconds left. Man, 
Man, can we just keep it a little bit more simple? Uh, uh, Scott Turner, please. Come on, Commanders. I need Titans to lose. Uh, yeah, uh, you're not a Commanders or a Titans fan. You must be uh, a, a fan of the AFC South team. Colts, Jaguars, or the, uh, or the what's it called? So the uh, Texans. Clock management. Here go that clock management. Clock management. There go that clock management. How y'all feeling about Ron Rivera's clock management? How we feeling? How we feeling about Ron Rivera's clock management, bro? What's going on? How y'all feeling about it? How y'all feel? <laughs> What's going on with Ron Rivera's clock management, bro? What's going on? What's going on right now, man? Oh, the Chargers won? Okay, that's good for my family football pool, but not necessarily great in a lot of other ways. Up oh, and New Orleans is losing now. That's what messed me up on the uh, fantasy thing, but at least the Chargers won. All right, what's, like, what's really going on now? Bro, I've been smoking my team already lost. <laughs> Bro, I'm going to have to wash my bed sheets after this. I don't even know what that means, my boy. I don't know what you got going on. All right, third and five. Okay, that's manageable. I don't know what's taking us so long to call timeouts. I, I, it's killing me. I don't know what's going on. But we're third and five. Third and five. Terrible clock management, though. New Orleans is selling. New Orleans is selling. New Orleans is selling right now. New Orleans is super selling right now. And Ron Rivera is trying to sell. Is Ron Rivera trying to take for a quarterback with this clock management? Is that what we're doing? Is that what we're doing and I just don't know it? Like, we got to be better, bro. It's third and five, man. We had timeouts. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened to him. Ron Rivera calling him late, using timeouts but poorly. So now we don't have timeouts and we don't have time. He just he threw everything. He threw timeouts and time away at the same time. Come on, y'all. This is the game right here. 28 seconds. Anxiety ain't even a word. Hey, man, this is why we watch football, though. It's, it's moments like this while we pull up the football. This is why we play. This is why we love football right here. And Taysom Hill is out here balling and doing something. Yes, sir. I need that. I need New Orleans to win. Okay, we got the first down. Is that our first third down conversion today? Hold on, hold on. Let me go check. Let me go check. That's our first third down conversion. We are one of 10. We are one of 10 on third down. Wait, what did Taysom Hill do? I'm seeing a lot of Taysom Hill chaos, but I don't know what he did. We are now one of ten on third downs. I mean, when you need it, when you you got it, when you needed it. But can we get a touchdown? But can we get a touchdown? Yeah, what did Taysom Hill just do? Did he just run like a crazy distance or something? All right, come on, offense, bro. Come on, come on. This is the game right here. We can win it. We have we have a strong arm quarterback. We have too many explosive receivers. We should be able to win this game. Yes, sir. Pass interference. Pass interference, let's go. Yes, we need that. We needed that flag. We needed that. We needed that pass interference. Yes, sir. The refs finally have their eyes open. Refs finally have their eyes open. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me see the Taysom Hill play real quick, too. Ball on the one yard line. Let's get it. Oh, yeah. Taysom Hill is a little bit different. He's not that athletic, though, but he made a play right there. Got to congratulate. Got to congratulate him right there. All right, come on, bruh. Let's go. Come on, Commanders. This is it. This, this is it, Commanders. This is it. B-Rob game winning touchdown his debut. B-Rob game winning touchdown in his debut. That's what we doing. Tennessee Titans calling a timeout. They're scared. They nerd. Tennessee Titans are nervous. The Titans are nervous. Titans are nervous. They nervous. Let's get it. Come on now. We right here. We right here. This is very winnable. This is game right here. This is literally game. B-Rob, touchdown, debut, 
NFL debut after getting shot. I love it. I love that storyline. Let's make it happen. Let's give it, bro. Give it to B-Rob. Let him do it, man. Give it to B-Rob. Let him do it. But it sucks because we have no timeouts. So running the ball is a little weird. You know what I'm saying? We will have to hurry up and get back to the line immediately type of thing. But come on. I want B-Rob to get the touchdown. And, I mean, first of all, our run game hasn't been good this game as well. So that makes it even more challenging. They're expecting us to run. We haven't ran well. And if you don't get it, the clock is running. We got to hurry up and get back to the line and run another play. So I think we're honestly going to pass on this first play. I'm not going to lie. I think we pass on this first play. I think we pass because if you don't get it, a lot of clock runs and then what happens? Well, then what happens? You know what I'm saying? All right, incomplete, short. All right. All right, well, it, it is what it is. He missed, he missed, but it's still second and short. Still very winnable. We're right here. It's a tough situation to run the ball. I'm not going to lie. We haven't ran the ball well at all today. But it, it might be time to go ahead and do it. Run to the right side. Run to the right side if you're going to do it. If you're going to run, run to the right side because that left side with Andrew Norwell is getting beat. Getting straight beat right now. Andrew Norwell is getting tore up. Uh, I would I would give it to Brian Robinson. I'm not going to lie. If we're going to go to the right side, give it to Brian Robinson to the right. But they're probably going to pass it again. Yep, pass it. Didn't work. My bed sheets are so... <laughs> Thought if you're going to get tackled. Running, you have plenty of time. Yeah, I mean... Wentz was open enough to run it himself, though. Wentz was definitely open enough to run it himself. And Terry was open. And Terry was open, man. Terry was open on one of those plays. Well. 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 I would have liked to at least run it once. It would have been nice to run the ball at least once, man. We should have ran the ball at least once. Come on. I know our run game has been bad, but should have ran it at least once. That was terrible, bro. I don't know how you lose like that, boy. Only us. Only us, man. Only us, man. That is terrible. That is absolutely terrible, man. Sam Howell season. Man, that was terrible, bro. That was terrible. That's a terrible way to go, man. We should have we should have just ran the ball, man. Should have just ran the ball. Should have just ran the ball. Shay e already texted me. We should have just ran the ball, man. Should have just ran the ball. Is it Sam Howell time after that, man? Because what was that? Is it Sam Howell time? Is it Bryce Young, CJ Stroud time? Because that wasn't it, man. That was not it at all, man. That was terrible. That was that was a terrible way to go. I'm getting out the plane. That's the first thing I'm doing. I'm getting out the plane. It's not working enough anyway. It was a nice little comeback drive that we had going, but overall the plane isn't working plane is not working y'all i'm sorry i tried i tried with the plane it didn't work carson Wentz, that was terrible bro that was terrible scott turner we should have at least ran the ball once like at least once and it's sad too because we wouldn't have been in that situation with the time that low because because ron rivera ran used the clock terribly terrible clock management scott turner i mean Ron Rivera is the reason we're in that situation where we barely have any time left and no timeouts. And then now that we're in that situation, Scott Turner doesn't want to run the ball because we have no timeouts. But you still got to at least attempt to run the ball once. And then Carson Wentz sells the game. Carson Wentz just completely sells the game. And that just adds to our third down situation. That makes us 1 for 11 at third down now, right? Yep, 1 of 11 on third downs. And our defense did everything they could. 4-14 on third downs for the Titans. They did everything they could, but the offense was terrible today. They had a couple of explosive plays, but overall they were not good. And right there when you needed them most, they failed. Right there when you needed them most, they failed. But, hey, man, leave a like on the stream if you can. I know it's a bad moment to ask. 
But we have a lot of people in here, and I would love it if y'all could like up the stream before y'all go. I really appreciate it. Don't punish me for Carson Wentz being sorry, please. But, yeah, it's definitely about time to start considering for real throwing Sam Howell in there because that was a terrible play. We should have ran the ball at least once, but appreciate that, Armando. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate that. But, yeah, it's time to start considering. I mean, for, first and goal at the one-yard line and you don't score is crazy. What's good? Is that my boy, Zay? Is that Zay? I appreciate the donation, Zay. I appreciate the donation. I appreciate the donation for my for my sadness. I'll do, you're laughing at our pain, but it is what it is, man. I'll take the donation. I appreciate it, my boy. Man, that, that is terrible. Is, is it time to go ahead and start evaluating Sam Howe? Because, again, I do not want to get to the draft. And we're like, oh, we could get Bryce Young. We could get CJ Stroud. But, nah, we got Sam Howe. We don't know what we have in him. Let's at least give him a chance. It, it's probably good. We probably should throw Sam Howell out there to see what we have in him. And, and, and then before we get to the draft. So that we can know if it's just time to move on. We only spent the fifth round pick on him. So it's no use in not taking Bryce Young or, 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 or CJ Stroud because we have Sam Howell. At least throw Sam Howell out there for a little while to see what we have. Yeah, it might be time to finally look at Sam Howell. It, it's, it's probably time to... Ron Rivera clock management is atrocious. Scott Turner's offense, uh, red zone play calling is bad. Carson Wentz, not good. I, I just, this is terrible. Team is not clutch, bro. Team is not clutch. But yeah, man, please like the stream on the way out, man. I really appreciate it. I'm already seeing the word tank in the chat. I mean, when you're one and four, it's hard not to feel like it's time to tank. It really is. But the season is not over. It's still early. But one and four does not look good. One and four does not. We have we have what twelve games to go to make it into the playoffs. We have to win at least probably eight of the next twelve games, and we still have a lot of tough teams to go against. Let me see. What's the rest of our schedule? It's ugly though. We're losing a lot of winnable games, which really sucks. That's the problem. We're losing a lot of winnable games because because we just we just like are not ready. We're losing the not. We're, we shouldn't have lost this game. Cowboys game was in reach, even though the score didn't look like it. Should not have lost the Detroit Lions game. So now we got the Bears on a short week Thursday night. Packers are tough. The Colts are going to be tough. The Vikings offense is really good. The Eagles are, of course, tough. The Texans are underrated. The Falcons are well coached. The Giants are balling, well coached. By week, Giants balling. 49ers are very tough. The Cleveland Browns, Deshaun Watson is going to be back and have already played a few games by then. And then Cowboys and Dak's and, and, and Dak Prescott will be back. So, man, I don't know, man. I'm definitely not saying tank yet, but it's ugly. Playoffs, playoffs looking real ugly right now. One and four is not good, especially since we already have two L's in the division. You make the playoffs through the division. It's ugly right now. And you you can't score a touchdown on first and goal on the one yard line. You don't even give Brian Robinson the chance. You don't even give Brian Robinson a chance, so it's ugly, man. We got to really dig deep down inside and really evaluate what's going on and see if it's time to move on to Sam Howell, see if it's time to move on from this coaching staff, time to see if if if, if we're really just trying to is, – is, is Ron Rivera tanking? Is Ron Rivera tanking and not telling us? Because, like, what was that? What was the clock management from him? What was the play calling from Scott Turner? And why was Carson Wentz so bad? Terry McLaurin was open on, like, first or second down, one of them, wide open. Carson Wentz could have ran it in once or twice on, on a couple of those throws. And then that. Like, come on now. We just, we're terrible right now. So, I don't know if we're tanking. I, if we're tanking, let me know. Because I, did, I didn't know we were tanking, but it looks like it now after that game. But again, man, please leave a like on the stream on the way out. I really appreciate it. I'm about to go ahead and work on my review video, man. I really appreciate y'all. Again, leave a like on the stream. Shouts out to everybody that donated. Shouts out to all of the new channel members that pulled up, Pro Bowl sponsors, rookie sponsors, all of that. Again, shouts out to all of y'all in the chat as well. Um, and yeah, man, I got to work on this re review game video, so I'm about to go ahead and get up out of here and work on that. But I appreciate everybody that pulled up. Shouts out to everybody that left a like on the stream as well. And again, shouts out to everybody that donated as well. And I'm going to catch y'all later, man. I appreciate y'all.